Premier boys, yeah. Yo, me and my team is the best in the world. world. You and your team looking stressed in the world. world. Said me and my team is the best in the world. world. Then you and your team looking stressed in the world. world. Yo, me and my team getting caressed by curves. Curve. And you and your team getting arrested by the curve. Curve. Me, my nigga, oh, he ain't do shit. Except the robbery, nigga. He gon' do six. Come through, bitch styled up with new kicks. Penny flow ho, and I come with two chicks. Cause me and my team is the best in the world. world. Me and my team is the best in the world. World. Said me and my team is the best in the world. world. Best in the world, world, best, best in the world. Got a star on the sky, gentlemen on the cup. Yeah. And I know my team burns, we got sand in the cut. Ow. Premier boys. Yes. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the Premier Boy Podcast. This is your boy Ken. A.K.A. Mr. Gentleman. This is your man, the star, Roddy Rod. What's good, everybody? I'm not used to doing this third, but long little chief. They call me Mally Mal. Long little chief. And, and y'all, welcome to the Premier Web Podcast. Hope all is well. And as y'all see, it's the three of us at the moment. Because, you know, King Talk says is not here. And hopefully he come by later. But, you know, and, but we do got... But before we introduce a special guest, I just want to say thank you, everybody that tuned in to part one and part two of the Grown Man Conversation. It was a fun episode, and I'm glad y'all listened to it. And, you know, I um, keep doing y'all thing, man. Thank y'all. Thank you for the support. Also, thank you, uh, thank you to continue to support some good pods. We've been growing. Even though we dropped for the number one spot, we are still currently number two at the moment. Hanging on, so y'all get us back to number one. And yeah, but question, thank y'all you fellas. guys. Yeah. There you go. Before we before before we introduce our tonight guest, do y'all have anything else to say? Any news thing to say before we start? Any public service announcement? Anything? Nothing. No, nope. no. Nope. That's that's more of a Rondell thing. Where, <laughs> where are you, bro? Like you. Back, Jump on. Back, back. Keith Tokes man. Rondell's back. missing for the night. Keith Tokes is missing, yeah. But but you know he missing. We do got a special guest who gonna fill his fill his shoes in for tonight. We got the long time bro. You know he killing. He got his own business at the moment. Called Highlight Shades. Dude is killing it right now. Doing big things. I'm proud of the boy. He 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 also was a part of the original crew. The blaze up. You no know, part of the blaze up click too. You no. Know, Do you see? Had, but you see, there you dude, go. Dude, dude, he's also a low key rapper. He's a comedian. Dude's gonna make you laugh all night, y'all. He's gonna make you laugh. And yo, and I'm proud to bring the boy. We've been trying to get this boy on the show for a minute. He was on my show three years ago. <laughs> you finally got on the Premier Podcast. Welcome to my bro, the long time bro, Trophy T. Welcome to the show, bro. <laughs> 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 yo, welcome to, the, welcome to the show, bro. What so the fuck? Look, 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 look. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, pause, because it looks like a... Yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yo. What's good, bro? Yes, yo, welcome to the right, show. You can man. tell by his background, that is who sponsored tonight. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Yo, so... This is, this is, this is the new highlight stoner's lounge collection you feel me i got the shirt on right here your service so going over to highlife365.com cop yourself a whole uh fit i'm still working on a couple of more products so you're gonna see a couple of more drops from your boy nice nice so yo so tell us a little about the brand before we start anything tell us a little about the brand so people think so so people could know so the people could know obviously it's a 420 brand right Boom, right? And uh, we came out of, obviously, we came out of uh, Brooklyn, New York, Yazerski. When I say we, it's actually just me. Uh, <laughs> my uh, my partner, you know, she she helps with a lot of shit that goes on with the brand now when it comes to, like, you know, booking for f- certain fashion shows and, like, pop-up, shows, pop-up shops and shit like that. Um, yeah. 
But um, yeah, like I said, we are four twenty brand. We started off as eyewear only, and then uh, I decided to branch out and do like you know stoner like rolling trays. So like we got our own grinders now, and stoner kit like this. Check this out. Hold on, hold on. Check this out. Check this out. Girl. Check this out. Oh, you can't even see it because it's goddamn background. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, there's a ro- there's a rolling tray that I uh that I designed and developed. It like has its own slots and all that. I'm actually rolling up on it right now. But um, yeah, man, my brand is basically me, just in a brand. Well, tell us, potheads, where to cop that um rolling tray again from? Oh, highlife three six five dot com. That's H I L Y F E three six five dot com yes yo get your holla shades now man i have to support the bro holla shades yes, right here. Right yes now, sir right now. Right now. Uh, but that but that, have, that like like this this rolling tray hold on i gotta take this goddamn background off so you can actually <laughs> see you know what i'm saying i just wanted to uh show y'all that real quick but hold up so bow. So it has the, a slot for the grinder. It has a slot for this is called a can of puck. So basically, it could store up to a half of ungrinded trees. And it can hold up to um, I forgot how many um, ounces when it's grinded up, but it comes with an ashtray and. Strong but super light as rolling tray. Like it's mad light, bro. Like this, this feels like a feather right now. Like it's crazy. And um, nice. it comes in a traveling case, and it comes with a pre-roll case. It's it's somewhere up there. I don't feel like I don't feel like getting up and going get that. That's mad far. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro. It I I I've tried to think about shit that I like as a stoner and shit that, like, you know, I'm bougie with it. So I'm like, shit, if I'm bougie with it, I know there's other stoners out there that's the same way. And that needs shit like this. So here it is, feel me? So check it out, highlife365.com. Or you can you can go on Instagram and DM us and you can order there as well. Uh, highlife365, actually highlife underscore 365, H-I-L-Y-F-E. We just making it do what it do until we reach to the top. So we're going to climb, climb, climb. And that's my team, nigga. That's y'all, nigga. <laughs> you already know, bro. And, yo, we knew this dude for a long, very long time. And I'm proud of the, proud of my bro, man. Keep doing it. Keep doing your thing, bro. But, <laughs> but, it's, but time to get down to business now. Let's get the IG polls before we get to these topics. So the IG poll, we got, I dropped, we got two IG polls for tonight. So um, when I post one on IG, with rapping? When one of these rappers got to go? You know, so we got Tupac, Biggie, Nas, Eminem, Kanye West, Jay Z, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, and Drake. Out of those Bro, I just mentioned. I wouldn't even put that list together and be like, one has to go. Nigga, you <laughs> don't. <laughs> no. I don't. <laughs> first choice. My first choice, immediately when I seen this, said one has to go. I said, I'll go. It's okay. <laughs> you know what? Can I, can I go first? Can I go first? It's, it's kind of easy for me. You know who? You know who gotta go? The news sexual himself, Drake gotta go. <laughs> Drake gotta go. I'm sorry, man. Everybody else, everybody else. I can't. I can't get rid of everybody else. Like everybody else is too dope. Drake, I, I can live without Drake. I'm gonna be honest. Oh. I, I, I can live without Drake. I, Come on, I'm sorry. Drake, Drake gotta go, man. <laughs> Let's be real. Drake gotta go. Bro. I got, I got to call Cap to that. But, but who, who's going next? <laughs> who, who got next? I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. You want to go next? I thought what? somebody. I thought um. I thought Trophy was about to talk. I don't want you don't cut the gas. Oh, uh, Trophy. Go trophy, go ahead. I think my Wi-Fi sucks. <laughs> Damn, boy. I, hey, listen, first of all. All right, so, all right, so I got Tupac, Biggie, Nas, Eminem, Kanye West, 
Jay Z, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, or Drake? Which one of those I just mentioned gotta go? God damn, dog. <laughs> That's like shit. I don't even can I not answer? Fuck. <laughs> But out of all of them, I'm gonna have to go with Drake. I'm sorry. Oh. Drake, I got it, got it, got it. Okay. I'm gonna just sit over here since I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Oh, man. I'm, you want me to go next, though? Yeah, you're, you're, you're about to go next. You're about to go next. Go next. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, um, all of them is important to, to me, and all of them is in my. And my weekly listens, but that's oh, I can't, I can't do, I can't do Drake because he's he's up there in my weekly playlist. <laughs> I, I I listen to a lot of Drake during the month, so he got to stay. Yeah, <laughs> the only you like Drake, nigga. Of course, you already know. Um, <laughs> out of that list. The only person that come up like least for me, and no offense to him, is J. Cole. That's the only person I gotta go for me. That would be my second. Jermaine? Be- he said Jermaine. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Jermaine Cole, son. Yeah, he said Jermaine Cole, son. Jermaine? Hey, Jermaine yeah, Cole. man. Hey. I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate. I know I'm gonna get a lot of DMs, but hey. You're gonna get a lot of hate, nigga. You're gonna get a lot of hate. <laughs> You gonna get hate. You gonna get a lot of hate. Y'all gonna get a lot of hate. So. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get more hate. Cause. Uh-oh. All right. Since the obviously the idea of that list is that you can't just cop out. So since I gotta, I gotta do it. Um. Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> what? <laughs> you see? You see what he says? <laughs> Explain. <laughs> So, oh, my, my head. My head. <laughs> yo, I thought Roddy, I thought Roddy had exploded. Yo, <laughs> that was scary. Oh, dang, y- y'all bugging right now. So I'm but sorry. it's Kendrick Lamar, <laughs> and and the thing is, and and it's two reasons, right? Oh shoot! One of them I've thought this out well. The other one is a little bit hated. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't. I don't want the reason. I don't want the reason. Oh, but like, for the first reason, reason, I don't want the first reason. I really want us. I really want us to. Um, I really want us to think about what we consuming, what we actually consuming, and who yeah. makes the most momentous shifts based on consuming a stuff, right? We have Biggie on that list. Nas, Jay Z, all those yeah. people are cemented exactly. in my mind because I consume them, and. They brought something to me that I couldn't be brought anywhere else. Cole did that. M. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Even Drake, right? Hearing Drake around the same time, that early 2008, 2009, 10 era, Drake, helped me yeah. be confident in the artist that I would turn into. Kendrick um, is outstanding, don't get me wrong. And, but, he, but I feel like I feel like people have not connected to Kendrick the way they would like to connect to Kendrick because they feel like he's deep. But yeah, they can, people can live in a world without Kendrick music. I, I think people need Kendrick music. I, I, mean, beyond, I, think Kendrick, I don't disagree with the idea of needing it, but yeah. people also need to eat their goddamn vegetables. I haven't seen a green in three weeks. I saw it. Say we got to say tea. Uh, I said I think uh, I think people need him without realizing that they need him. So they just exactly. like, hey, you know, he 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 gets you know looked over a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like his talent is there, but I feel like he doesn't make you know that big of a impact or like that big of a like catchy eye opener type things where people are like yo Kendrick is that shit. Like when he first dropped, niggas was like on his dick. You know what I'm saying? And, but now that really, like, like you said, people realize that he's more woke than usual or than they thought he was. So it's like, but well, like, it's hard to connect with him with some woke shit or shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So 
it all depends on like I guess like what mood you in and if you're not in that mood, you're really not gonna turn on Kendrick. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's, that's why that's people even yeah, that's why people even started talking shit about J. Cole. There's a there's a growing contingent yeah. of people just saying J. Cole is overrated. And it's just because he doesn't make he's not making that radio stuff. Like that stuff that right. really gets people to bond. But some of that stuff is gonna get you to bond with that music. Right. So it's like a, it's a hard, it's always a hard divide, but yeah. Hey that yeah. But, but, I, I, but I feel like you said Kedot. You know what? You know what? I feel like you said Kedot, son. For, for my second reason, the hating reason. I, tell I, me, I, tell, I, tell the I, people I, why, sir. Tell the people why. Um, anytime. That is very <laughs> much the reason why. Anytime, exactly. Say the same song. Y'all took care of the same song and catch it song. I was <laughs> so <laughs> tight. Yo, I, I, you don't know this story, right? But homie, <clears throat> I remember um it was back at the time when me and Roddy we was we was traveling around together. We had this um we had this manager lady, she saw us do a performance and she approached us. So fast forward everything, I'm doing what the manager lady wants. So she asks me, she asks me for um was that a girl song, a street song, and a club song, right? And we get to the to the club song. I write this brilliant banger. I find all oh, this beat. I forgot the name of the guy who made it. Uh, Santana 2K12. It's on YouTube. Find the beat, right? I'm like, wow, coolest sexy songs I've ever wrote because I'm bad at writing sexy, really cool. It's supposed to be the one, right? And I remember I was excited. I went, I, I told a few people, but one of the first people I told was, was King Talk Sand. Shout out to King Talk Sand. <laughs> Where you at, bro? We you at, King Talk Sand? Where you at, bro? And I played the song for him. He was like, yo, this is fire. It sound like a crazy cover of this Kendrick joint. I'm like, what you mean cover? <laughs> the original. We both used the Janet Jackson sample. I just, I hadn't heard the freaking song. <laughs> Yeah. I was yeah. tight. Uh, Needless to say, uh, my song been mediocre. About... What happened? I said, that's the hate shit you talk about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's terrible. All right, Justin. Kendrick Lamar featured Drake. <laughs> uh, Drizzy. Uh, Drizzy, yeah. Popular song. Oh man, oh man, that was fun. That was fun, man. We got to do a show. We we in trouble with the. You can't get a copyright for my song. I think she would come after me, but we, she can't yeah, copyright yeah. my song. Yeah, 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 she'll, yeah, yeah she'll, don't worry. Y'all let me get sued. My name is on it. <laughs> it's an ass cap and everything. It's cool. Fact, fact. fact but, I got, I got, but I got one more um, IG poll. And, and I didn't make this one up. I didn't make this one up just now. So um, this poll is, you got a new edition. Jodeci, Jagged Edge, One Twelve, Boy to Men, and Drew Hill. Which one of them had to go? I ain't here. Say one more time for me. Uh, I'm gonna say one more time. Drew Hill, New Edition, Jagged Edge, Jodeci, One Twelve, and Boy to Men. Ooh. I'm gonna have to go with Drew Hill because I don't listen to Drew Hill a lot. Dang. Oh. I know. Savage. <laughs> no, I know. Savage Life. I know. <clears throat> Dark. But he's just not in my place. I go with Boys of Men. I can't go with Boys No, you can't. Nah, man. You're bugging on that one. <laughs> boy, boy, now, it's boy, like, they're, they're so good. They're so good, I can't listen to them all the time. 
It'd be like that. I mean, it ain't bad. But yeah, like, be like sonically, that. they're amazing. They affect my emotions in a way that I don't like that four <laughs> men can do. Um, <laughs> it's not okay. <laughs> This nigga just uncomfortable with four men sticking in his air. So beautiful. <laughs> and, make, and, and, and getting near. Oh, man. <laughs> stupid. Stupid. Stop crying. Stupid. Fuck about oh, shit. Bro. What a Yo. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. Come on, y'all. Come on. And even if I say, boy, two men, y'all bugging. Come on. Don't, don't got like. It, it got to be them. Ken, Ken, listen, listen. If you you know <laughs> y'all y'all know I went through a really bad breakup last year. If I listened to any boys to men, <laughs> I'd have been outside this girl house crying. <laughs> I would have been calling her mama. Like it's no. That's like saying every time I come on, you're skipping, bro. <laughs> Do not do that. Uh I know for me, this is, this is actually pretty easy. Jagged Edge. I listen to them the least. I mean I like all, all these people, all these music artists, but Jagged Edge I listen to the least. I, Bro, I, I, I I, I can live without Jack and Edge. I'm just gonna be honest with you. I can live without Jack and Edge. Hey, fucking for real. It, pro- it probably <laughs> would be. It probably, probably would be Jack and Edge, and I like Jack and Edge. Them niggas. I had to avoid them niggas too. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> walk, I heard walked out of heaven for the first time, like for the first time in a long time, like three weeks ago, and I was like, God damn. I felt like I was the wrong one. I was about, about to call this girl. We can't be doing that. Nah, they got to go. Yeah, it's them. <laughs> Too bad. Too bad. What about you, Roddy? What you got? Yo, I'm going to have to go mm-hmm. with Jacket Edge because I listen to each and every one of them on a the regular. Fact, and I listen bro. to Jacket Edge and these. That's my choice. Fact, I agree. But since we're on the topic of um, groups, how y'all feel about J- um, Drew Hill? They got a super group now, Drew Hill. Basically, yeah, they basically what? got all, all the old basically, members. Basically, yeah, all the old members, except for Woody, yeah. Basically, every every member of Jigger, they formed into one, like they, was, like they are um, Temptation and freaking... Um, no Vision. No Vision. Yeah, yeah the, Drew Hill did that. Yeah, Drew Hill did that. Like you literally all of them stuff with Woody, all in a group together. And plus they two newest members as well. They made it to a super group, Drew, Drew Hill. For the trade, I guess the trade for the anniversary, I guess it's Drew the Hill and let it be thrown and leave it alone. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Thanks, yeah. I mean, I, I like I like Drew Hill. I, I I ain't gonna hold you. I love Drew Hill, Nookie, but but that super group is a bit much. We we don't need a super group. When the last time they made an impact, you can't just jump up and say we have a, a super group now. I need y'all need music, new music now. I think they uh, hopefully they are making new music. They got a super group. <laughs> last time they tried to get back together, they just fell the fuck apart. So they did. Though. We'll see if they we'll see if they make it to performances and, and music now this time. Yeah, I mean, I'll leave. it's gonna be just like the Temptations, son. Be just like the they formed a whole separate group in like 2009 just to break up. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> they did nothing but break up. Like that's it. That was the main event. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, I that's believe we right. doing this shit just to break up. I believe that the I believe that should scale it down to like four, like. Uh, Super group, what's the point, bro? That's how I feel. Like, I know. mean, I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess they're doing it so because the fan probably would act for it. They probably miss every member of the group, you know, to try to get the wish to remember Woody. He was like, nah, I can remember after a long time ago. They had physical, him had a fight, and but, I thought he wanted to do gospel too. And he never, but look what that. happened every time New Edition do that. shit. It was like freaking like <laughs> that fact they always find on the tours, it's like damn near like seven of them and shit. Like, come on, that's, what, what, that's gonna get hot tonight. 
though. But Shockley, they they are on tour right now with the Shin. They got their, um, they got Bobby all, and Johnny all, Gillen them. All, all of them together, yeah. All of them together. They're on that. Yeah. They got their, they got their own. They all on need money. They, they, money they, yeah, yeah. And, <laughs> and they're in Las Vegas. They got the Las Vegas uh, residency too. Especially really my man Bobby. Down. Yeah, all of them, man. Like all of them, man. So yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, Drew Hill Super Crew. I don't, I don't think you need it. It's, but it's not. Drew, you not need it, but I mean, I guess if you're a Drew Hill fan, it's cool. Like, yeah. See where where being in such a big group benefits singers. Like, especially because none of them are, like, doing, like, instruments and things like that. It feels like all it does, all it serves to do is split your money more ways and um, cause fights. Because that's all these super groups tend to do. Like, we couldn't even have that's a all it boy, is. That's, boy. What, that's what it is. That's what it's there for, like, the drama. That's what sells. The drama is what sells. That's, 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 that. that's a big fact. You know, it's, it's really just the drama. The fact that motherfuckers start fighting, the fact that motherfuckers is trying to leave the group and start their own or, you know, shit yeah. like that. Like, people are interested in that for some reason. And that shit sells like a motherfucker. It does. He is right. That's why I'm not. That's why these breakups and shit is not real. Like a lot of mm-hmm. them just fucking stage just so they can sell more for their albums that they that's true. made. That's true. Yeah, but you you watch them on you watch them on stage. It's like damn near a whole damn camp on stage doing the the tell me dance. Like come on, stop. <laughs> tell me what you want. It was a camp. <laughs> tell me what you need. Look how much people it was. Man. Well, like ten was. people talking about tell me baby, <laughs> <laughs> the off the stage, like yo, and the only disco singing, and everybody just dancing in the back, yeah. that, 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 collecting that, that, the that, that, same that, that, check. That, 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 you know, on, y'all know Cisco got an eagle, son. Cisco got an eagle too. So yeah, I don't know how. Yeah, that nigga's eagle is. Oh yeah, yeah. that nigga yeah. made a whole album called Unleash the Dragon. Of course, <laughs> that nigga got an ego. <laughs> <laughs> and return of the dragon, right? Oh, in the, in the, <laughs> yeah, don't want to make me a beast the dragon. Oh, <laughs> That's it's hilarious. Yo, uh, before we move on, yo, do y'all remember that reality show? Um, we had a reality show back in, I believe, in twenty um, 2009. It was at um, Keith Sweat House. Y'all remember that? No, like that sounds like a fever house. dream. <laughs> I guess not, God. They, they, they had a reality show and all they did that was fight that reality show. Nigga. All they did was fight that reality show. It was, it was funny, so it drew hell, man. Because, like, like, like Trophy said, man, that's what really do sell. Like, I had to think about yeah. this. Diddy made more money on both making the bands that, than, that, yeah. than he made on the fucking bands that he made. For real. That's that true. That's definitely true. That's, that's, and, that's that shit, and that shit did reruns. Mm-hmm. Exactly. He's Perfect still making family. more. He's still making money from the reruns of the show, rather than the music being sold. Because all all of that music that was made, low key except for the band album, that album was better than it was supposed yeah. to be. But every every other bit of that music was literally yeah. music for the time. Yeah, yeah. And that's why we sit here and we talk about Jagged Edge and Boys the Men, but we are not talking about Day Twenty Six. Nah, at all. Nah, Donnie nah. Long. Wow, that was a name. How we never picked up on that. What should be clear? You know, Donnie Clay, you mean you Donnie Clay? <laughs> oh, no. okay. That's uh, I was, I hope I had it wrong. <laughs> you, 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 <laughs> Donnie Long. You, 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 you say the dude from ATL or Jackie Long, but, so I you but didn't didn't did he, uh, <laughs> not Jack and nothing long. Continue. <laughs> then did he group the um. That group he had with the two girls, Dirty Money, only had like one album or so. It's that yeah, Dirty they Money. The, yeah, they're the part of um, Latry in the Paris. That was Diddy's album, though, basically. That was Diddy's album. I mean, yeah, was Diddy's the group album. wasn't even, the group was, was supposed to be named Dirty Money, but the actual name of the group was Diddy Dirty Money. That exactly. was Diddy. Diddy, Diddy he, exactly. just, he just that wanted to do that. Yeah. Was, so he was basically was. trying to. He was trying to get an established uh, extension of the ba- Diddy and the Bad Boy family like that. I, I, I get, yeah. yes, yeah. He basically he understood nobody wanted a Diddy album again, <laughs> <laughs> and 
and said, but I want to put one out. <laughs> and he said, I'm going to figure this shit out. <laughs> and he did. That album was way better than it had any right to be. And then, and then now, I ain't going to hold you. you know, I ain't going to hold you. That actually, that album was kind of hard. I ain't going to hold you. That album was hard. So I ain't going to hold you. Yeah, but he, he, he rolled with it for like three years. Like, he, he did. He really did. did. He wanted to he wanted to put out a plat he wanted to put out a platinum record. That's why he rolled with it so long. Back, back, back. That's the longest tenure for a damn album, bro. Three years? Yeah. Oh no, 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 no. That they used to do that back in the day, heavy. Um yeah, that's did. why Mike that's why every song on Michael Jackson's own thriller charted, because he ran yeah. every song as a single for oh, wow. close to like four years. It's- and he didn't stop promoting bad. Thriller until he started promoting Bad. The bad, yep. <laughs> yep, that's true. That's true. That's true, man. Dang, the nigga had the money for it, too. He did. Exactly. From he did, Thriller. Yeah. He did, yeah, he definitely did, son. Like, show them, so, like... And that's why I can't, I can't say that, but, yeah. But, yeah. Thriller's so the biggest album, album ever. Do is. Do is to this day, you know? Nobody can't be doing nothing, man. He had literally pockets. Yeah, pussies, what? <laughs> yeah, pussies screaming, losing their voice box. That's wild. Right. Yo, I, did, I just heard a story that Magic Johnson told that Michael came to the LA Lakers game and he chilled. And every fan was, was screaming. It was to the point that they had to stop the game and let Michael go because they, they would not stop screaming for Michael and not pay attention to the game. How crazy. Yeah, wow. Wow. Yeah. crazy like that happening. Yeah. Imagine right. being Michael freaking Jackson. I remember, yeah. remember, I watched the video. I remember, I don't know what why this came up a few months ago, but I just watched a couple videos of his performances. I think I wanted to just see how he. Me too. He would too, stand yeah. up for five to ten minutes at a time and just get cheered and. To the point people are passing out, and it's so normal that they got a process already. They just lifting the motherfucker and pushing him to the left. We all know they already had ambulances on standby. True, yeah. Motherfuckers yeah. is moving like car wood. He didn't sing yet. That's fact. Oh wow. <laughs> That's fact, yo. That's crazy, like, bro. It took nah. deep into Travis Scott's concert for them to need ambulances. <laughs> My son <laughs> needed the ambulance there we go. before the music started. That's a fact, yo. That is fact. Bro, that's crazy. And that then when crazy. he hit the first note, six bitches dropped immediately. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> 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 they they faded everything, son. They faded everything. It was crazy, son. It was that wild. Was they foaming funny. at the mouth like they just seen Jesus. They- <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, There's crazy. probably somebody passing out every time at his fucking concert. Literally, literally, I believe son. that. I believe it. Was, I heard yeah, it was. Probably every concert, some bitch was probably knocked out. <laughs> Back, Look how and probably it. every Look concert, bad, he dude. probably had a bitch waiting at his door somehow, some way. Or like, I believe that. Like, I believe that, like, you, like, you know how they throw roses and like bouquets and shit at the thing? I bet it was like six panties in one bouquet, bro. I swear to God. Believe that. <laughs> that, that like, you know, it's with the numbers attached to them all, staples to them and everything. Nah, that's definitely flex, man. Crazy, yo. You know what's crazy? He's one of the few people I believe never never smashed his fans. Mm. I feel like he didn't. I believe I believe that he didn't either. I believe that I he feel did. like he was I feel like he might have been too much of a germaphobe to even try to, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, ill germs. I don't want, you know. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 oh, you like, oh, ass, like miss me with that bullshit. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, his scandals came late as fuck. Yeah, that was right. Uh, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, he was already like retired. Like when his scandals started, like, bro, come on, chill the fuck out. I'm <laughs> no, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm like, I'm like, because like yeah, he was going through shit for like from like. The beginning, I'm tripping. Like he, he was, there he was, he was, and the fact Listen. that you know, those dudes try to lie on him, and then after he died, they just want to tell the truth. Right, you know, that's, yeah, that's annoying, bro. Yeah, that's so foul. The like, they ruined, they ruined, they ruined how good the music in Sonic Three could have been. Oh yes. yeah, yeah, Sonic Three, yes, yeah, because yeah. 
for those that don't know, Michael Jackson made the news for Sonic 3. He never won a credit for it, but he but they said it later that no, he was a no. part of that. He wanted the credit for it. They could not give him the credit for what they kept because oh, okay. then essentially, and this is the optic of it, you'd be um given a child molester uh credit for his role in a children's game. Right. I get it. It's oh, foul because right. because he wasn't that. Oh, got it, got it. So Great. as soon as that stuff came out, he that Sony had the distance and they just kept what they had. Yo, you mean Sega? <laughs> Sega. <laughs> Sega, yes. Ooh. Sega. Yeah. That. Yeah, then, now I'm, I'm a That's Sonic right. fan. I, I, I'm a Sonic fan, so you know I had to say that. You know, hold on. Speaking of Sonic, yo. Shout out to Sonic, y'all. Shout out to Sonic. Ah. <laughs> shout out to Sonic. Yeah, <laughs> but, but, shout out to Sonic. And shout out to this fucking party mix. This shit's snapping, bro. <laughs> Yeah, Shout out to the party mix. Facts, facts. Yo, make me want to go to the store. Yo, I'll be back in five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I'm just God you damn, I'm just back there. Uh, I'm bugging out, boy. Yo, I yo. miss going out to the store, bro. Just walking to the fucking store. But now, oh, yeah, I always forget that's that's car. like I always forget that's not a thing everywhere else. Uh, it's not. Real. Like I'll be feeling you. uncomfortable when I when I don't know where the nearest store is. Me, me, right. I'm the same thing. I'm the same thing. Exactly. You feel like it's a safety measure now. Like it's a part of your fucking safety. Right. Like I must know where the nearest convenience store is at all times. That's, right. That's a fact, yo. That's a fact, yo. But I ain't gonna hold you, yo. We we we've been completely off topic. We're not going on schedule. We have so much fun with the conversation we just happened just now. <laughs> and um, I don't even, I don't even mind talking about this talking about musical day. I don't know. I do not mind it. But but let's get to some premier news real quick. Yeah, let's get to to the premier news real quick. So um, the first news we got we got Troy Lane. As y'all know, y'all keep up keep it up with the show from season one. <laughs> we've been talking about Troy Lane since season one, literally since season one of the show. And now, as of today, well, maybe a couple of days ago, Troy Lane in handcuffs after being guilty for a violating protection and personal contact with Megan Thee Stallion. How do y'all feel about that? Well, <clears throat> I don't know why he keep trying to, like, it's, it's so much going on in this case. It's, it's it's, it's just too much going on. Uh, it's like nobody wants to like just chill out and let the shit completely play out without doing something. So she jumping on live saying some stuff. He doing stuff. Now he he just put himself in more hot water for violating the protection order. Basically meaning like he chatted with this woman or talked to her in some sort of way, shape, form or fashion. And now he in jail for it. I don't know why he keep he keep um I don't know why he keep trying to talk to her. Ain't, like I feel like he just every time he tries to talk to Meg the Stallion or talk about Meg the Stallion, he gets in more trouble. When he stops talking about Meg the Stallion, the stories start coming out that he's doing better in the court proceeding. Many he do something to open his fucking mouth. Look. That's that's what he is. That's where he is. <clears throat> Megan the Stallion. Oh boy, how you feel about this, Roddy? Megan, he just can't leave her alone. Just can't get over this shit, man. It's crazy. Like she, she do look like she got some great future. She probably not gonna lie. Let's face it. Her pussy is bomb as fuck. <laughs> and that nigga got caught up and he like shit I gotta talk to this bitch that pussy was good maybe I can get it a little bit if the pussy wasn't good then the head was probably amazing cause she always talking about how she got some good ass head you know you know what they say the people that talk about it the most be lying like that's true. I don't know though like I think like I always I, I always say this like high level pussy comes with Hot, the, the better the pussy, the more the toxic, the more toxicity there is attached. I believe that. <clears throat> so for him to be putting himself in jail, kind of messing up his music career <laughs> and stuff like this. Whew. 
She got a hole on that man's soul. Oh boy, Troy, Troy Lane. If y'all, if y'all know about the Troy Lane, you know I, did, I never really cared about the Troy Lane topic. Y'all already know every time the Troy Lane topic come up, I don't really care about it. <laughs> and I guess, I mean, I, I guess you should never head up to Troy Lane. You should know better, son. Now you messed up your news career, man. And I actually like your last album with the the eighty theme. Hey, I came with the eighty theme album. It was kind of kind of dope. You know, well, the whole shooting thing messed his career up. He's just like <laughs> ensuring that it's going to be harder to unfuck it up. Like <laughs> that's all facts. <clears throat> Although that album he put out at, right when the stuff started, pretty good album. Yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Because I remember first, he, I know first he came, up, he came up with the Daystar album. I remember that, and then he came up with another album. It was a, it was a straight R and B album. That had like eighty, like an eighty thing. Like it was nothing but eighty music on there. And I actually, I heard that like, yo, this album is actually kind of hard. I'm not even gonna hold you, Twenty Lane. Like, this album is kind of hard, man. It kind of made me speck up just, just a little bit. The last <laughs> Twenty, the last Twenty Lane's album I listened to was like, what the fuck was it? That shit he made. I ain't been broken a minute. Yeah, that's the that's last the- shit I heard. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how old that is. I don't know how new it is, but. Uh- Sure. That's not, that's, that's not like it's been a while. So it's not like it's been a while. I, yeah, I, 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 I was. yeah, I mean, because he's probably been broke now, right? <laughs> <laughs> he, he looked like he's still doing okay. You know, he got lucky. He he got kind of, he got a little bit of the Chris Brown treatment, where everybody just wasn't sold on 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 the other person's participation, mm. like. Everybody's like, oh, man, Chris Brown beat up Rihanna. And then some of them was like, but what's she do to him? She Caribbean. <laughs> we don't, we're not letting her off the hook at all. They be, you know, he's That's getting a little bad. of that. <clears throat> so he's still couture, I guess, if he wants to. And um, Roddy, did you talk about this yet? Yeah, yeah. Well, my yeah. Wi-Fi sucks. I didn't hear anything. <laughs> Uh, um, T, you said you said something about the topic, right? About the Troy Lane situation, right? Yeah, but I forgot what I said because the, the shit kicked out. <laughs> ah, dang! I, thought, I guess we go. I guess we we'll go to the next topic. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go to the next topic. Right, next topic, we got verses, y'all. Y'all already know we got the verses, y'all. And um, so we just put up, you know, some new verses, and some of them is blanked out. That we don't know. We don't know um what the verses is, but we do know what this confirmed. April 17th, we got Mary Murray versus BB and CC. What? Yes, 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 yes. I said, yes. I said Mary Murray versus BB and CC is the next versus. Mary oh, yeah. Mary going to give them the work. Really? Until they get into the worship what? section. <laughs> yeah. Mary Mary got hit. <laughs> No, they, they, of course they do. I, 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 he was I, I, playing Mary Mary in the club, messing us up. That was, that was. That guarded me, that guarded me. Of course, that song was a big But I got to say, I'm um, BB. That was, that was the gospel <laughs> blaming on the alcohol. <laughs> but I'm going to say, I'm BB and CC, they're legendary, son. And they got a whole bunch of family, son. They can bring them out, it's game over, son. Like, come on. Even Mario Winans is a part of that, a part of that family, son. Like, come on. You'll come out and say, I don't want to know. Okay. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I, would, I would not be surprised. I need bro. Mario Wyman to come to this versus and sing. I need that now. That is now on my 2022 bingo card <laughs> to see Mario Wyman's come out during a gospel based versus and fuck it up. <clears throat> I mean, I mean, that's family, so I wouldn't be surprised. That, that, that's that, fact, that, though. That's, they, that's, they would win that's for me family. just off that. I need it. I need this. <laughs> Mario, where are you? I need this? Mario Winan. Sorry, not other Mario. Not uh, Mario, Mario Winan. <laughs> you got to be correct. Oh, man. Mario W. <laughs> <laughs> but yo, yo. Hey, um, I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, yeah we, got, we, got you, bro. we got you, bro. We got you, bro. So, yeah. Um, BB and CC definitely got this. Um, Mary Mary, I'm so, I, I don't I didn't know that they had so much songs for verses, but no, but you get they've been out since the nineties. They've been out since the nineties. They've been out since the late nineties. Yeah, they've been Oh, so Shackles wasn't the first song? 
No. no. Actually, no. It was kind of early, though. It was early. Yeah, though, early, early earlier. Earlier. Early. No, actually, no. Actually, no. That, 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 that was the first album. Yeah, that was the first album. Yeah, that was. But that, that was ninety nine, bro. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Hold on, hold on. We gotta do. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta do. Um, we gotta do a fact check real fast. Fact okay. check real quick. Fact check real quick. Fact check fact real quick. Premier um, Vince fact check. Yeah, fact check. Mary Murray. We get. We gotta. We gotta check this real quick. But but also they got solo album too. So um. I know Eric Campbell went solo. solo. I didn't know the other girl did. Both of them did. Yeah, both of them did. But Tina Eric, Eric, Campbell. They, Tina, they, there we go. Tina, Tina, <laughs> Tina there we go. All right, so the first Don't album was 2000. All right. all right, so the first album oh, was boy, 2000. I know she is. Yeah, so, all right, so here, I got the information. The first album was 2000 called Thankful. That was the first album. And that's when they had Shackles. Yeah. The Shackles on my feet so I can do it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Remember what you know? Remember with no gospel too, yep. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so yeah, shackles, yeah, and that's for that. They got shackles, God in me, heaven, I'm walking. Yeah, oh, yeah. they got they got joints, especially yeah. in the last 15 years. They do, yeah, they do, they do. <laughs> and yo, they got yo, they got a song with Dick and David Banner. So that's my favorite song off the um the sound um album. You said David Banner? Banner? That's yeah, they got a song with David Banner. I know they David. had a. I know they have a song with Dietrich Hadrid and um, Ruben Stutter. I mean, of course, Ruben ain't the problem. But you said DJ Khaled. No, Khaled? no, that, Dietrich that, Haddon. Oh, this Dietrich Haddon, Haddon is the. Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Premier yeah, yeah, Boys No Gospel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hashtag, <laughs> Premier hashtag, Boys hashtag, No Gospel, y'all. Hashtag Premier Boys No Gospel. <laughs> that, that's the hashtag. Premier we up Boy, on no that. We up on. We up on the law. But but BB and CC though they've been out since the eighties, the late eighties. And, that's why, and, and that's I, why about, I say they're going to crush it, too. And, and I know about them because my parents, you know, they big on gospel. And they when play they, every day. Every when Sunday, they pull, they wake up in the morning. Like, I, I, I woke up to BBC since then. Like, I, you know, we had have, we have the tape of BBC since when I was younger. So, yeah, they had a, they had a collection of BBC of the, all their videos back, I believe, like in the 90s. And it was, like, mad at their song. And I remember that so this is this is gonna reach a this is gonna reach a good demographic. A lot of people's gonna really mess with his verses. And on top of that, you know, also Easter, Easter Sunday. This is Easter Sunday, so you know people go listen definitely Easter Sunday. They gonna gather around, right? Gather around, and yeah, you know, um, this is gonna be a cool verse, you know, um, stuff like that. Um, <laughs> Trophy T, are you familiar with BB and CC and Mary Mary? I'm familiar with Mary Mary. I think B A B B is easy to chicks with the dreads. <laughs> no, that's flow tree. Flow tree. I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> now BBC is a brother sister um duo. They are brother, brother sister and sister. Yeah. Brother and sister duo. Yeah, yeah. Gospel duo. That that was out since the late eighties. They got a that's big so... family. They, they got a big family. So like, they got um. They Wait, got they brother and family. sister. Yeah, BB and Cece. Yes, yeah, they are brothers. I thought they was. I thought they was husband and wife. Everybody thought that. Now nah, they're brothers sisters. Oh my god! They are brothers. I don't ever want. I don't ever want people. To think that. <laughs> I would never I, want people. Are you sure? I, I just saw some I'm pictures sorry. of them, and it don't look. I mean, it's not raunchy because R and B, but it don't look. They it don't look sister. brother and sister. It look. I, I, I know. I know. Trust me. It look a little <laughs> crazy. No, 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 brother and sister duo. They are brother and sister. Wikipedia right now. BBC Bodies are American gospel artists, brothers and sisters duo. Yep. And this is going. And this goes out to all my siblings. Um, I don't ever want to. I don't ever want you up on me like this. Yeah, I mean, I can hold you. I, I can hold, hold you. Up. The picture, the picture is weird. I go, I know exactly. I know exactly. I know exactly. Somebody said he's green. Oh, I know exactly what picture you took about too, son. Oh, dang. I, got, I got a couple. I'm trying to pick. Like none of them are making me comfortable. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> hold on. This is. Uh, oh my like, god. Yeah. No. I know. I get it. I get it. Cause yeah, that she hold it. Yeah, yeah. I, I get it. I get. It, I, I get. I get it. Why you thought that? 
Trust me, I, I thought that too. See, I want to be kind of uncomfortable. Nah, really. He said he want to be uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Look, as soon as I can fuck, as soon as I can load this joint, I got you. Nah, I know. I ain't gonna hold you. It's, it is pictures that, yeah, I I, I get why Bally <laughs> thought this because I look at the pictures down too, and a lot of them look like they they are kind of close for brothers. I, I I not gonna hold you. I I get it, and <laughs> I get it. I, <laughs> no, this was not their album cover. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It, it is album no, cover, yeah. Right. It, it is their album cover, son. If it's the same one I'm Hold on. About. Oh, man. Hold on, boy. Oh, nah, they were... That about to make me go get my laptop. Oh, man, hold on. They were bugging out. Hold on. I hope they, 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 they were bugging out. I, I hope they the were... Uh, when, you on, see what, when you see what I'm about to show y'all, they, they were bugging. Especially... I hope, yo, I hope, I hope, the, I hope the gospel committee don't cancel the real boy God. <laughs> All right, hold on. Let me, let me they not canceling us. They know what they know what they did. It was them, not us. This is the album cover. They can't, <laughs> they can't get mad at me. They put this album cover out. <laughs> oh man, yeah. Oh man. That looks that looks too cozy. Now I know what you talking about. <laughs> I was my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they get the fuck out of here. Yeah. yeah. They fucking. Oh. <laughs> what? They fucking oh, oh, I see what you mean, I boy. Oh, God. We, oh, God. We, 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 we going to get canceled by, the, by the, the, the church community now. So, damn, we're going to get canceled. No, I'm fighting church. that. If I gotta get canceled. I'm taking BB and CC with me. Brothers and sisters been happily married for the last forty years. <laughs> they, they, look at these pictures. Oh come on, y'all! Oh god, my sisters. I don't need y'all on me like this ever. I got ever, three sisters. Bro. Do not be all up on me like this. Look, look, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> who, who is this who is this album even for? <laughs> look, look up the album name BB and CC Lyman's Addictive Love. That, that, Who's that, for? Right too. that, that sounds album. weird. It what? does. It it really don't that sounds super weird. I don't even sound gospel as well. For that, brothers and sisters. I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> that. Oh, man. Oh, back. oh, my Lord. Oh, man. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to hell, I'm, I'm taking the premiere fan with me. Y'all can go to hell. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, also, also, we got we got another versus um, Cypher Hill versus Onyx. I mean, I know his thing. I know who they are, but I don't know too much of their music. Happy, like, like I'm not the big, I'm not the biggest, I'm not the biggest um fan of you no know, either group, but I know who they are though. So I can't, I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't even, I can't, even, I, can't even, I can't really speak about this like that. How's this one now? What about you, Bali? Are you a, are you a fan of them or familiar with them music? I'm very familiar with them. Um, Cypress Hill probably got that one. As far as time of, of their popularity, they were popular deep into the 2000s. Yeah. Um, they could bring out D12. They had a they had a real cracking joint with D12. Oh yeah. Be real oh, yeah. always got some joints with people. So Cypress Hill is probably going to steamroll. But we will get slammed. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I love that song. Uh, the thing about it, I know I'm more for the acting than the music. Because you remember, I wanted to do, you know, play Q on Moesha. He, 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 nope. he's, um, he was, he's on Moesha. And he, in the other roles as well. And then the other dude, Sticky Fingers, he was on many shows as well, too. So I don't know. I, that yeah. I didn't know. 
I know yeah, Sticky Fingers, fingers on, on yeah. he was yeah. on he was on this Eminem track that was really yeah. good. On, yeah, but um, yeah, but on the Marshmallows yeah. LP. Mm. But but I know but I know the Otis crew more for their acting than mm. their music though. I didn't know I didn't know their music too much except for the Slam song you just mentioned. But I didn't know too much of um the music. Like that, <laughs> Every time I catch an Onyx, I have to teach it Slam, even though that's yeah. a terrible move in Pokemon. Yeah, but um, as for Cypher's Hill, I don't know too much of the music either, but I know who they are. It's, it's like it's, it's that um, oh. dynamic for me, you know. It's shocking for me. Yeah, I am trying like, to think of the most popular Cypher's Hill song, and I yeah. feel like I feel like if I say it, you'll know it. Thing I, is, yeah, I, I don't yeah. remember it. Uh, hold on, hold on. Let let do let do a fact check, y'all. Let do a fact check. Yeah, we do a lot of facts for today. <laughs> the mayor boys fact check once again. There you go. Because we don't just be go. saying things. We want to give y'all the facts, boy. Fact though, fact though. There you go. They had insane <laughs> in the brain. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I know. Oh yeah. We know, I'm familiar with that one. Insane in the membrane. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. okay. I think that was dumb. Oh well, no, yeah. that, that's the. That's the Beastie it's Boys. No, that's them. Insane no, the they brain. did it too. They did it too. Insane in the brain. Yeah. yeah, that's them. That's them. That's them. Yeah, that's them. But I, I think I, I did the wrong, wrong, the wrong like melody the, in my head. The, 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 the wrong, the wrong right. melody. Hold on, let's. Yeah, but I don't know too much of their song though. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know too much of Cypher Hill song though, like at all. I'm not gonna hold you. Insane. Oh, this was them. It wasn't Beastie Boys at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I know, this, I know the song. Now. I know, I know um them. I know this song though, but I don't know too much of the other music though at all. But um, yeah, I mean this is more of a hardcore hip hop fan, a, you know, a hardcore old school hip hop fan, like a, a, a hardcore. Then you will enjoy it. But I know this is not gonna be an IG live, so we ain't gotta worry about this one. But um, but yeah, but everything else for the verses is not blanked out. It's blanked out. So could we got we got we got one on eight. This is gonna be for the grunge era hip hop fan. Yeah, there Basically, go. there you go. There you go. But we also got more verses, but it's blanked out. We got Mother's Day is blanked out. Then we got um, um, May um, Memorial Day blanked out. And then they got um, Juneteenth blanked out. And then they got they got our first time ever label versus. Let, let, let guess who this is. Who y'all think gonna be that for label versus first label? A label versus. Yeah. <sighs> New, because he's the person making the biggest deal out of having a label recently. Hmm. I know it's going to be Death Row versus somebody. Who may be Aftermath? That'd be, yeah, that'd, that'd, that'd be cool. But who's on Aftermath right now other than M? I mean, M could probably torch everybody um, on his label. M, M, like, M, M, um, Kendrick, Kendrick, Kendrick doing Aftermath. Um, Anderson Pack is doing Aftermath. Um, that's all I know. I, I just know them three. Oh uh, shoot! Maybe he don't want to go after them. Like who's on? Who's on Death Row? Who's on the new Death Row? I had no idea. Just new. I don't. I don't even know who else was on Death Row yet. Oh damn! It's just new. Uh, but, uh, who I, but who I think? I think it's gonna be some social death or bad boy. That's what I think. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna say that social death. Or that bad. would be fun, but like nobody from Bad Boy is either alive, not in exactly. jail, or like Diddy no more. And that's, that's true. That's a fact, though. That's the, only, that's the only issue. But I can't think of nothing else unless they do. I like to say like Def Jam versus um, Def, like like a big like a big type of thing like Def Jam versus um, Arista or something. Arista, yeah, something like that. I can see that happening. But mm. other than that, I don't. I don't know. This was hard. This was the one that's hard to um. But it could be any. Really but crazy. honestly, exactly. it's such a wide thing because it could be anybody. It could be. More majority labels that, like back in the day, that you know they don't they're not current right now or they don't got nobody yeah. current. So, uh, yeah, it's all in the air for that. That's right. fact. That that's definitely fact, yo. And um, capital yeah, lock, yeah, rock capital nation exactly. or rock, whatever whatever oh. Rockefeller is now. Ooh, rock nation. Rock nation. I didn't think about yo. I didn't think about that one. Wow. Probably because nation. like. Jay Z don't be participating in shit. Yeah, hell, it could be. It could be good music. It could be good music. Cause they I'm do sure around. it is. But I'm just saying no. he don't be. That's why you didn't think of it because he don't be participating. No. That's kind of his brand. 
Even no, though we don't no, run no, it like no. that no more, but that's no, no, no. I'm talking about um good news at the label. Getting out of my dream. Oh, it could be them too. Kai, Kai, oh. Kai, Kai, Damn. Oh. Um, niggas don't like him no more, too. But niggas on um, he gonna lose Big Sean, push a T to oh, left. Yeah. But you know, he oh. pushed T through on it. He, he, he's the president. Nah, he, he stepped, stepped down. He did? Oh, he I did? Know that. Yeah. Well, I didn't know that. Oh, shoot. I did not know that. Let me, let me look at uh, time. After um he stepped down close to the time where um remember Kanye was just talking shit about him and um and Big Sean about how he don't, he don't mess with them. Yeah, that's when it oh. came out that Pusha T was separating from good music. Oh wow, I didn't know that. Wow, wow. I did not I, this is new to me. This is new to me. I didn't know that. Wow. I didn't know Pusha T stepped down that crazy. Wow. But that was up in the air because there's a lot of labels out there. And yeah, it is. We can't we can't think of all of them now, but yeah. If, but I mean no one I versus mean, they're gonna throw us a curveball with somebody that will be like, oh yeah. You know, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that's year versus universal universal music group, those bitch ass dudes. They wanna they wanna take us off the, they wanna take off off the the thing, Universal Music Group. I think it's them. I think Universal Music Group got so much people, though. It, 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 well, Universal is like a it's whole, big, whole thing, yeah. Of labels, yeah. Uh, yeah. So it's like saying be- Universal versus Warner. That's just everybody. Exactly. Niggas, That's everybody, you know, right. Anybody can just appear at that point. Exactly. <laughs> Literally all of music that's not independent. <laughs> basically, basically. So you might not get Mac Lamore and Young M.A., but... <laughs> <laughs> or Tech Nine. Or Tech Nine. I'm gonna tell him, Papa. You know, I was listening to that shit yesterday. You gonna fuck around and get a six nine? <laughs> <laughs> exactly who we'd get. I'm pretty sure he's stuck in his deal. <clears throat> no, he's he doesn't have a deal. Mm. Oh, <laughs> good. You ain't gotta worry about it. Yeah, he don't, yeah, he's he's done. They he fucking dropped out of his deal, I think like two months ago or some shit. Oh, like wow. the label. Oh, that's like, why he don't got no money. Yeah, he don't got no fucking money. Bro. He shit. Yeah, he oh, broke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also of course he is. I seen the way he was spending his money. He was back, always back. going to be right. Back, like back. always bro, going to be. It was ridiculous, bro. Back, back, back. Back. And also, they got um they got a thing called um AO8 Day. So I guess and that's producer versus two coming up in um August. So mm. yeah, they got a lot. Of, they got yeah, they got a lot of verses coming up. So I ain't gonna hold you. We got a lot of verses coming up. Yeah. So yeah. So now you know it's it's time. It's time. Hey, it's time. Yo, why you still got that weird ass picture behind you? <laughs> 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 So yo, so yeah, so yo, so yo, and Tommy about to do the main event topic. And um, you already know, um, yeah, it's how to do that. Before we move on, I changed that. Yeah. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Yo. And hey, you're right in the middle of both of them. It's so awkward. <laughs> 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 Stupid, stupid. But, 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 we might like, go to the Sometimes it looks like you're a part of the photo. Sometimes. Like, <laughs> hey, yo. Oh, man. I can get far back. <laughs> <laughs> it's so uncomfortable. <laughs> stupid, but, 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 we about to do the main event topic. And, and we, and we got, we got another guest coming in for this main event topic. So, Oh, so, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. They so better I smoke. Well, I ain't well, shit. Well, none of my well, shit. I don't think she smoked, but she being in a few. But 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 you know the main event topic is Will Smith. Oh, and, you oh, know, Tia, yeah. got you. I'm uh, I'm on I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> no, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we, we, we 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 say Tia for next for next for next. But yeah, for we Will Smith. We got Will Smith. So. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think at first, at first, did y'all think that slap was real mistake? At first, be honest. Um, I thought um, it was fake at first. Um, when I first seen the, I saw the, I saw the, the Oscars live. So, um, right. I, so I, I, I saw, I thought it was like exactly a part of the act or some shit. Yeah, until me too. he started cursing. 
Me, me too. Um, to be honest, when I first saw it, I was watching it. Oh boy, I'm like, why don't you watch this? Because Chris Rock is on stage, you know, joking and stuff like that. I thought, uh, well, what I thought was, we'll go get on stage and he, and he gonna laugh and hug him on stage. That's what I thought. I didn't expect the slap to happen. I was actually shocked about that. I did not expect this stuff to happen at all. I, was I like, think oh, the man. world was shot. I think everybody in their fucking seats was just like, oh. everybody. Yeah. yeah. You know what it is? We could, we as a collective of people could not fathom what had happened because it was so out of the way of what happens. Like, so right. everybody had a similar response because we just couldn't. Like, it was outside of a possibility we thought was possible. Yeah. It was an unknown, unknown. Right. So now we're like, oh, it's fake. It was this. It was that. Um, I watch a lot of wrestling. I was listening <laughs> to Jim Cornette talk, and he talked about the slap because so many people said it was fake that they wanted him to analyze it because he's, you know, he's wrestling. You know, he knows how to um, work a crowd and make them believe a fight is real, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And the question he asks is like, okay, if it's a work, the only reason you do a work is um for some payoff to give somebody to give the fans a payoff to give the people who watch in a payoff and the better the stock of everybody involved where was the payoff who wins who gets more of anything from this because right now in terms of public light chris rock and will smith are like kind of in the same place where they're both a step down from being the nice guys that they generally are looked at as Oh, um, right, because they're both seen as wrong <clears throat> in situation. Right. Yeah, Jada yeah. Pinkett is even further down than she than she at was. And she, you know, she's she was gaining as, some. She's seen as a puppet master in a way. Right. So the Oscars look, you know, it I I don't know if it brought more eyes or more attention to the idea of an Oscars. But the point of the matter is, who wins from it being fake, mm. right? Where does the money come in from that? Because what, are we hoping that this is going to translate to next year? You know, people are going to tune in hoping a nigga gets slapped again. Like, uh, so I, mean, I believe it's going to happen in reality. Oh, that is. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Public service announcement. Miss Mademoiselle Magna is in the building. Magna, welcome to the show. Yay. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back. Yeah, she is back on the show, y'all. Just in time for the main event topic. Well, where the yeah. fuck she at? We can see her. I don't I don't know if you can. Oh, you're, you're, you only get to see four people. Swipe left. Swipe over a little bit. You'll see her. You, you see me? Yeah, I see It was good, baby. Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. So 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 as since you joined in, we we are talking about the most special situation, you know. I, I believe um Mally Mal was was talking about it. Right. So um, just to recap the last few things that I did say. Um, so when the, when the slap thing happened, the biggest thing that happened, one of, one of the things that happened was a lot of people were like turning to wrestlers because they believed it was fake. And what I was telling them is that the, we instantly wanted, believed it was fake because we couldn't fathom something like that happening. It just didn't seem like the place for it. Right. Um, and Jim Cornette, one of my favorite people who analyzes wrestling, he, he says, okay, well, if it was fake, if you work, if you, they call, they call that, that's the terminology. If you work a crowd, there gotta be a point to it. Some, somebody somewhere, there has to be a payoff that makes somebody or somewhere look better or push a story for it. So the question you need to ask yourself about this is think it's fake, like who wins? What gets pushed forward? What, what did we look, what, you know, who wins, right? Chris Rock nor Will Smith win because um, they both kind of look worse than they did even one second before that slap. 
That's they both look true. like worse human beings. Jada Pinkett uh, so looks like, like an evil. Will was mm. laughing. Jada got mad. She looks like the total, you know, mind puppet control over Will. Will got out of hand. Will smacked the shit out of fucking the villain, so to say, in his in his storybook. You know, I, I don't saying? know if he I don't yeah. know if he slapped the shit out of him. That was that was a no, a real not in, in in like in in the words of Chris Rock. In the words of Chris Rock, he fair, fair enough, fair enough. Him. You know, what I'm saying? To, me, to me, that's the reason. <laughs> so I believe why Chris I, Rock I like shitted like on himself a little bit because. Right, right. But also, like, I feel like the the posture of the slap, the way it was, like, that slap was thrown, it was like, was that real? Is that really how you slap? Like, that's not how you really would slap somebody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, You smack somebody across the face, not down. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's weird. Like, the whole posture and it's just weird. weird. It was weird. You know, you know what's and, funny? And, hold, hold on. I don't mean to cut you, but you know what's funny about what you just said? I said the same thing. But then I realized Will Smith has smacked people before. So we just had to go look at the last person he slapped right. for. Right, and that's, like where, that's, that's, that's what I was about to get Yeah, to. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 the paparazzi dude. He, he was like this. Right. And he also, smacked the dude. Yeah. he also smacked a dude from fucking uh, Captain America as well. He slapped yeah, him at a party. Yeah, <laughs> niggas don't know oh, about that. I know, I did not know about that one. <laughs> the, dude that, the dude that plays, the dude that plays fucking War Machine showed up to one of Will's parties and he, I guess they wanted him to present the cake or whatever and they saw each other from across the room. They did an awkward, hey, what's up? He went in for a hug. Will went in for a high five, I guess, or whatever the case may be. And it ended up, you know, the end scenario was Will smack the shit out of him. I don't know how that happened. I feel like the story was, you know, adjusted to where it was like made Will look like the good guy a little bit. But you know what I'm saying? Because to me, like, there's no way I can get a hug confused with a, uh, a, a high five and like get slapped in the process. You know what I'm saying? You talking about Don Cheadle? Don Cheadle. Yeah, yeah Don Cheadle. Yeah. Yeah. Never heard of that. Go go look! I just uh, saw that interview. Hold on, hold on, come here, boys. Three come days come ago. Come on, fact check. Come boy, fact, fact check. <laughs> yeah, please do a fact check. <laughs> boy, fact hey, first check. of all, hey, don't be fact checking me like I'm lying. Cause I'll be <laughs> 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 oh shit! <dude. laughs> <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh, but what man. kind of slap was it? Like, was it a, a bitch slap? Was it like a French slap? Honestly, I, I do need I to know how Don Cheadle was slapped was... by Will Smith. I need to know. I want to hear about this. I need y'all to pull it up. I need y'all right to pull I'm, it up. I'm looking right now. I'm looking right now. Hold on, hold on. Sure. <laughs> right now, but. But um, Roddy, you talk about the black guy that plays the black guy. We know who Don Cheeto is. The black guy. I feel like I feel like Magna has the crush on Don Cheeto. That's why she knew his new exact name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don Cheeto is the crush on Don Cheeto. That's why she knew his new exact name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don Cheeto is the crush on Don Cheeto. That's why she knew his new exact name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don Cheeto a Magna, how when you first saw it, how do you, how do you feel about it? How what was your reaction? Do you throw it fake or what? When you first saw it? No, I, I literally was watching it and I'm like, oh, this is scary. Cause let's not act like Will's not considered a comedian, not like a professional exactly. comedian, but he's comedy. And right, black exactly. in Hollywood, they always in cahoots, they always doing some skit together. Yeah. And I'm and remember, Chris Rock was on a uh, Fresh right, right. Prince back yeah. in the day. They're yeah, not yeah, close friends, but they know each other. Yeah, and I also yeah. want to make the point later. I know we're gonna bring it up, but Chris Rock, people forget he did Madagascar movies with Jada, so it's not they don't yeah. know each other. 
I just want to make that point. I want to make that point right now. But oh, good, yeah, good, like oh, I'm thinking oh, that's a good fucking point. Right. We're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to Jada. But um, you know, I know that they at least know each other. I don't know how close they are, but I'm thinking like, you know, let's play this 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 funny moment at the Oscars, but at the same time, I was like like, even if that was a skit, did y'all have to go and bring, like, I'm sorry, but violence to the Oscars? Yeah. Black folk bringing violence? That's not cliche. That's so not it was really awkward. Right. But that, it was and that's awkward another for thing. me. That's another thing back to back to the wrestling thing. Wh- what, who did it serve? It hurt Black people. It hurt the people involved. It hurt the, um, the, the, the institution involved. Um, right, right. So who does it? Right. Who does it? Who does it serve? It definitely her will, and definitely her and Chris. Like, definitely, uh, physically her Chris. Yeah, her Chris. All right, so so he had a show like that Monday and was like talking about it. He was like, "I had a weird ass weekend, and I'm still kind of stuck about it." And I was right. like, "Damn, I was right. stuck about it too, man." Like, I just got slapped on the Oscars, motherfucker. Like. Not on some ranky yeah. dink show like the Oscars, <laughs> where people who don't normally watch TV are watching TV. You know what I'm saying? That's a fact. Like, like, like I what got the slapped fuck? in front of multiple millions of people. Of, right, like not I got, even like thousands, not millions, like multiple millions. I need That's I need y'all to speak. embarrassing as fuck. I need y'all to speak on this um as men. No 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 offense, but I need you to think of this as a man. Saying, How yeah. getting slapped in front of your cousin <laughs> will get you in your get you in a more right. like prideful feeling. You got slapped in right. front of how I don't know what number the Oscars did, but it, it does at least five million or if not more people every every cast, right? And then and then so, why? And then why and then watch by like literally and then you minutes. couldn't do anything, your hands yeah. are tied. Like I know yeah, his soul is split. You can't fight back. Because even if even if you know not fighting back is the smarter thing, there's a piece. There's always that prideful, that lying in you. That's like, nah, uh, bro, I'm not gonna. But that's lie. why he slapped him. If you look yeah. back at the slap, like, right, he when he slapped him, he, like Chris Rock wanted to react, like he wanted to. Throw he did. Out, he wanted to he throw did. out a freaking. He did. He did. Bro. You, you see it. You them. see it. But he held himself back. Like I'm a professional, and this is not the place for. It. But, he, you know, Austin. he know how we go. He hosted before. He wants to host again. He want to host again. I mean, that is his second hey, time shout hosting. Out to Chris yeah, Rock right. holding it together, bro. That's true. Shout out to Chris Rock. Yeah, yeah facts. A fact, but, uh, too, I, mean, I, I, I tell you like this. In the parking lot. Shout out to shout out to Chris Rock for holding his own, but I don't know if y'all have ever seen the Boondocks, and this is one episode where Tom or oh, with Sarah, Tom's wife, wants Usher or whatever. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And that, Usher just comes and just talk. This day yes. anniversary, he just talks to the wife, and the waiter's like this. this I am the waiter. Wouldn't have been me though. <laughs> yeah. I would have had us. I would have. I would have set us back like sixty years as a people since everybody can't still can't believe since two black people can't be mad at each other without setting the people back, I would have set us the fuck back. I would have fucked him up. The Tony Brown would have set us back. He would have smacked him right back. <laughs> Shoot. Tony I would have loved to see that. Oh no, Tony. Tony Rock is trying to start a gang war. Like Tony, that on Tony Rock is oh, yeah, all boy. the Rock oh, Yo, this man is going to get jumped by the whole Rock Brothers. <laughs> They're from Brooklyn. Like we're out here trying to red Philly. Yo, Philly. Philly. Brooklyn, oh, oh, Philly. Oh, 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 oh. I don't, he need I, to get. Oh, he need to get Beanie Siegel and Meek Mill to help his ass now. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I don't. Who else he got up there? Or the serious note. Or the serious note. <laughs> the serious note uh, I, would, I personally feel like the slap was not necessary at all. Like. There's other ways to deal about that shit. And, like, yeah, like, he may have joked about, you know, Jada's condition and shit like that. But, again, not everybody knows that she has that condition. You feel me? Even people that are in that line of business don't even know she has that condition. So, 
you also got to think of it from his point of view. If I was Will Smith, like, okay, one is Chris Rock. He's fucking beloved by so many, and he's a well-known comedian. Like, that is his career. His career is to make motherfuckers laugh and to point out the obvious and make fun of it. That's his fucking job. And you should know that as an actor slash comedian. One, right? Two, mm-hmm. like I said, you don't know, like, people don't know her fucking condition. So you gotta, you can't just be fucking reacting on a, on, oh, I'm just angry. I'm gonna get up because my wife is looking at me angrily. I'm gonna just get up and slap the nigga. And then get up and then make a fucking five, ten minutes later and make a fucking speech crying, talking about you want to be this man for this. You want to be this example. You want to look like this. You don't want to be a villain, this and that and the other. Like, bro. A vessel for love. Come on. Get the fuck out of here. Like, you're <laughs> America's, you're one of America's greatest actors, bro. I'm not believing that shit, bro. I'm not believing that. I'm not believing that. You just, you just fucking thought about the shit and like, oh shit, I just slapped him at the Oscars. Let me cover my ass. Let me make a, a touching ass speech. Fuck that, bro. At the end of the day, you just embarrassed him in front of his fucking family, his wife, his kids, his uh, his mother. He ain't got you know no what wife. I'm saying? Like, come on. Over, over a fucking joke. Over a joke. Like, that's dumb as fuck, bro. My thing, is, my thing is, though, people aren't talking about, for the ones that want to defend him, he had a good walk to the stage, okay? That's at least maybe one, two minutes walking to the stage, getting on top. That whole walk over, you weren't thinking about what you were about to do. You had time to think Actually, about hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. He, he, he had time to think, but he had a whole minute because he... Like from the time he slapped them, he was back in the seat cursing them out. By the time he realized, by the time he said more words, no, that isn't right. It was it was like a 15, 20 second no, walk. Remember, he had a he good pause there. before he slapped him, and I'm like, right. well, in that pause yeah, before he slapped him, he right. laughed right. in his face, thinking this shit was a joke. Like he didn't. He's like, okay, he's about to say some funny shit to me, or you know, something's yeah, about to happen that you know I don't know about. He wasn't expecting that slap. Like, look, like, look at, look look at your Nobody fucking body. Look at his face. Like, after that right. slap, like, damn, yeah. like, nigga, did he really slap me, bro? Like, that's processing. That face the is picture up here. Don't show like, his hand, but my son, shot. my son's hand was balled up, and he had yes. to let that go. Yes, yes, yes. That pic, yes. that's that picture right there. Just don't show his hand. Look right. at his facial expression right. too. That's that's the that's the position I was talking about to where. He looked like he was about to swing now, right? Like he's like, yeah. he just got slapped. So his first reaction, nigga, I'm from Brooklyn. You don't slap me and get the fuck away with it. So, you know, I'm a I'm a cock your ass, but he thought like he had no second to think about it. And he still thought about it and didn't react the way that he wanted to react. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And unlike Will had a whole, like you said, Magna, a whole fucking 20 fucking what? Like it was like 10, like it was like 20 seconds. Girl coming back from the slap and a good minute and a half walking up like you took your time walking up there and you you had time to think about that and you took te- you took time before you slapped the shit out of him bro but, but then what did he do after he slapped him that's what also had me thrown like you slapped yeah, him like, in front of everybody and what he do he smirked he fixed his suit and he just walked off like he was the shit and like he proved the point you made an ass right. of yourself. Yeah. Like, you didn't even think about it after you did it. You were not remorseful in any way. I'm going to dog that acceptance speech later, okay? I'm going to dog the shit out of that because what yeah, you did was take no responsibility go, for shit. Go ahead and dog it because I want to take what you just said and, and I want to open this conversation up. Because the reason this is a main event is not because of the action, action in and of itself, but care. because of... Just because of how much it means, how many questions it opened up in the dynamic of that male-female relationship, it opens that back up. It opens yeah. that Pandora box that had been opened the whole freaking um, panorama back up. So, like, I want to know, like, as a wife, not to, like, cut the conversation or everything, but, like, you know, as well, uh, because, you know, I'm just recently married, and I'm, like, a dad and shit now to two kids. So my oh, thing is, oh, is oh, like, by, 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 congrats, congrats, bro, by the way, but congrats. Uh, thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you know, thank you. So right now, I'm over hashtag here my wife like, as a kids. father. Huh? That's a hashtag my wife and kids. 
<laughs> nah, for real. But like, as a as a father, I'm like thinking about like it like this. Like, okay, I just did that for the national, for the how, for like you said, however many number the the Oscars did kids. You know, what I'm saying my kids are watching, and I was supposed to be a prime example to my son, right? So I'm like, how the fuck do you think your son feels? A lot of shit in his head. I met Jay and I talked to Jay. Then he's go- he's already going through a lot of shit, right? And the pressure of being who he is and who his parents is, it's a lot to take in. It's a lot as a kid being born into it and having to learn how to grow up and have fame and also be a normal kid and try to be a normal kid on top of that. That's all he's trying to do right now is be a normal fucking kid and grow up. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, that's why he moved to New York and moved back. Now he's back with his in his parents or wherever he's at right now. So it's like you got that and then you got your daughter going through whatever she's going through because you got to think of it like this. She's also growing up and dealing with shit as a young adult now versus being a teenager. Now this is like plastered all in front of their face. You know what I'm saying? Everyone around them is talking about it. Everyone around them is talking about their parents. Again, it's a spotlight of everyone's fucking Twitter account, everyone's Instagram, and their parents is the spotlight. So Including this show. Right. So including this show. <laughs> including this show. So it's like your parents just went from, just, just got over fucking the whole, you know, uh, what the fuck, what she call it? The goddamn... The shit with all this it's, 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 the entanglement. entanglement, the whole entanglement, entitlement shit. It goes from that. <laughs> Just getting over that, to like going well, back man. to normal, kind of going back to normal. To now, you putting them back in the spotlight and putting them back into like the bullshit of having this going on. Then on top of that, it's like okay, now how you sit there as a wife and think of it like okay, this is okay. I'm gonna let him get a, get away with this. And now, like, how has it been? Like two weeks, and now you just like talk about it two weeks later. That's whack to me. That's just yeah, my that's opinion. That's all I got to say. Again. They're gonna talk about our red table talk. We're gonna see more memes right. of Will crying. He's gonna be like this. Like, we don't need a hero. We don't need an explanation. We saw everything. We understand everything. I get it. You don't like being the butt of jokes, but did you really think you handled your business when you bitch slapped this man? In front of his kids, in front of the world, people who don't even speak English are talking about this shit. That's not gangster. I, I, I mean, here. I don't think it's gangster, but Will Smith is not gangster. Like, he's not. Like, and he and that's to why be. this that's is so thing. important. He, that's why. He that's wants why to this be, topic, but not want to be at the same time. It's weird, but like, he, like he, no, nah, he, he want right? he want to be somebody who feel like he stand up for himself, mm-hmm. and yeah, that's the biggest go. thing. He don't feel like he. He doesn't feel like he stands up for himself. He doesn't yeah. want to be that scared little boy that watched his dad beat on his mom. Right. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't want to be that boy that feels defenseless. But, like, shining back on about what Magna just said, like, with all that growing on, with all the memes and shit like that, it also brings the question is, like, well, shit, is this all a publicity stunt to, like, put attention back on to you for, like, certain things? Because you just came out of making certain movies and shit like that. So now all of this, with all this negative attention, that's not going to stop people from going to see these movies now. And those people who haven't seen the movies that you won the Oscars for. Well, they push him back a lot of it. Oh, hold hold on. We're going to get to that. We're going to get to all that, you know. That I did not know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to get to that, but um, I'm going to say something quick. Um, How I feel about it, I had many mixed feelings about it at first. At first. I had many mixed feelings about it, but now Will definitely was wrong. It should have never been there in the first place. He should have handled it a lot more better and stuff like that. He should have never went up there and smacked Chris Rock. And he kind of did make a fool of himself now, definitely, you know. He should have handled it a lot better, you know. And now, but but me and Mally spoke about this earlier. Either way, if he did smack Chris Rock, he, he would have looked wrong either way. Yeah, that's that's the other thing about it. Um, the position that he was in, he was damned if yeah, he did, damned yeah. if he didn't. Exactly, exactly. How wow. you say so? 
How? Oh, how are you going to let that man sit up there and talk crazy about your wife just now? Oh, right, 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 right. right. Yeah. 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 And you know, and, and, and here's the biggest part. People would have forgotten that corny joke. No, 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 no. Magna, 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 listen to me. Who's the person that matters the most to a married man? Who's, whose opinion, who's, whose words matter the most? His wife. Another man. His wife. No, no wife. that's not true because yeah. they don't listen the to a damn thing. Man on wife. this podcast just told us that. <laughs> no, but he's look, married and answered the question. He's a newly married Wait. man. Oh, no, not yet. Not yet. Check it out. Check Does it out. Does that to make that point, marriage? To, to <laughs> prove that point, to prove that point, if you go back to the footage and check it out, as he was saying the joke, at the end he of the joke. Will Smith was actually laughing. He was actually yeah, like, was laughing. Yeah. laughing. Yeah. And he saw it. He was looked sitting over there and... already. She was already pissed off because, like, he was like, Jada, oh, G.I. Jane, can't wait for it. Blah, 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 blah. And, like, she was automatically pissed off. Yeah. And, like, he was laughing and, like, she looked at him. And that footage is not floating around a lot. A lot that, of people, yeah, like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's, it's kept under wraps a lot. But, like, she was actually really pissed from the very beginning. He was laughing, and soon as she looked, soon as he looked over, everything changed. So yeah, right exactly. there is like what it what it means to like a married man. So right mm-hmm. there is like okay, fuck everything else. Yeah, this is funny, but like now she's pissed. Exactly, what yeah. he could have done from not- there could have not- could have varied. It could have been a various of things he could have done from there. To mm-hmm. handle that, he could have waited to the end and handled it backstage. Exactly. I'm not, you know I'm not that's telling not an you. That's not invitation to go no. on to the page and slap somebody. Exactly. So people can talk so, about Jada. So with that being plus. said, but I'm telling that. But, that, listen, that, but that, listen to what I'm saying, though. That's listen to what I'm saying, though. Had he not acted, she would have been the person to tell him you didn't do da 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 for me. I can get like, it. Either way, if he would have waited till backstage, how did you let him do this? If he would have waited till backstage, <clears> she, he would have still been active. Like her, that argument, if she would have brought that argument to the table, it would have been invalid because at the end of the day, he did wait. He did do something. He just waited and did it and held it as a, as a man and did it the proper way versus going up there, embarrassing himself and now ending, basically ending his career, fucking his career over. All because of you know. Oh no, no, hurt. he'll be fine. He'll be, he'll fine. be fine. He's an oh, Oscar winner. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But, but it does put that black right mark now. on him that he's been trying to avoid. That he's been doing a really good job of avoiding for the last thirty plus years, thirty five years, honestly. Fact, well, yeah, but oh, now that on. it's caught up to him, who knows what kind of damage is going to do to him? Fact, who knows what well, everybody dredging up things like. Like now, now they're going through a fine tooth comb to see every bad thing that the Fresh Prince has ever done, exactly. and that's the, and that's and that's what fucking sucks because now, like, yeah, he did this, but this doesn't connect to anything else that he's done because he's exactly. like, like you said, he's not a bad boy, he's not a badass, you know what I'm saying? So and he I'm doesn't have a life. track record. What, <laughs> what uh-huh. happened? I said bad boys for life. You said he's not a bad boy. I mean, oh, ah, that's, oh, yeah, that's, 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 that's fucking uh, hilarious. Uh, yeah, y'all, should have a, y'all should definitely have a horn or something. Just <laughs> 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 go ahead, Ken. Say what you're gonna say, Ken. All right, all right. Um, first, let Roddy, let Roddy um say something because I didn't say nothing yet. So, Roddy, say what you gotta say, Roddy, because I didn't say nothing yet. Oh yeah, I was. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, um, yeah, he was he was kind of wrong for going up there and slapping him at the moment. Um, Chris Rock, he's he's hosting the Oscars. He enjoyed hosting the Oscars. He wanna he was presenting. He was presenting. He was presenting. He was the host. Hosting the Oscars. Presenting. There we go. But yeah, but um, he, you know, if he would have reacted, it would have been a, a bigger thing than anything. And they both would have been, you know, brawling on the stage, and you know, been it would have turned out a lot different. And I believe, I believe what you're saying about Mally about the um, he had to react because um, Jada, what she was, yeah. what she was going to do next because um, you no, know, she did side eye him and he went up there yeah. and smashed him. So um, yeah, it would have been a re- it was it was like a um, lose lose for him because. Either way, yeah. It would have been a precaution if he didn't, you know, if he didn't um react, you know, and would have just let the would have just let the joke went over and continued on. Like what would have been the what would have been the next course of action, you know? 
Yeah, right. it would have been. It would have been either he if he go up there, he pretty much slap Chris Rock and embarrass himself. If he don't go up there, he have an issue with his wife, and no matter what, he's gonna be an issue with his wife if he don't do nothing. So, and I think he, I think you know, that's I think with that that's... with those two choices, he didn't wanna be in that fucking situation with his wife again. Because I feel like there was going to be more shit that was going to be dug up with his marriage that he would rather risk his career than to risk his marriage. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. exactly. And I feel like that's where he was torn (laughs) and he that's where he just decided to make his decision and just say, fuck it. I'm going to do what I got to do. Yeah. Because y'all got to understand this. Um, the reason why it's so impactful, one, because any man, the woman who has your heart can can cheat. And this is a this is a cheat code for you for you women out there. If you have a man's heart, you can you can literally work that man like a a, a freaking I'm so robot sorry. if you want to. I'm right? so over this woman bashing. I'm so over it. I'm so over it. I'm so over people trying to blame a woman for a man's actions as if he don't have two hands and a brain. We don't control that. We're not going to do that because if we do that, I'm tired of hearing a side guy and we'll go on at home. She did not tell that man to go up on that stage and make a fool. Okay. We didn't and if say, anything, didn't, y'all not talking about the aftermath, so, we also cussed them out too. That yeah, was also so, time for you to think about what you were doing and where you were. When you was cussing everyone. You know the only thing he was thinking about? You know the only thing he was thinking about? He was thinking about keeping his wife's name out that man's fucking oh, mouth. Man. You <laughs> call That's the only thing he was thinking about. Y'all blame everything. Right. It's not your mama's uh, fault. It's your wife's fault. It's your girlfriend's fault. It's your sister's fault. I'm not, it's your I'm damn not fault. Oh, listen. Uh, listen. Oh, hold, 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 hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to let you finish, but you got to hear me out. We not That's throwing single thing. blame. Hey, 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 Nobody's hey, hey, hey. blaming the woman. I'm letting you know. You totally no, are. Not. No, I'm not. Y'all are like Jada, Jada, Jada. Jada's I not an equation. First, first of all, Jada, Jada's scary as fuck. First of all, there's there is there's a side of her that that is just I know I could see it in her fucking eyes, bro. That there's a side of her that was upset. Hell to pay, right? But think about it, think about it, Magna. Think about it. Think about it like this, right? Think about it like this. Okay, you're right. She don't have control over his actions. That's absolutely correct. You had your man (laughs) out for dinner, right? Y'all talking y'all out for dinner, right? And some obnoxious ass motherfucker come over here, shouting across the room, talking about, oh, your wife bald headed, oh. Talking about you, right? You know what I'm saying, Jada. How would you feel in her seat? You know what I'm saying? If he just did nothing, if, if your man just walked off, y'all just pissed. By the time you get home, you would rip that man's head off and had it on a pl- fucking platter, pluck his ears off, put it in the microwave, and suck his brain yeah, out, and just shit with it. That's, that's like the trope of an angry black woman. That is like basically what you call in her angry black woman. Actually, actually, actually no, 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 no
But so yeah, we like Chris. We like Chris Rock. Uh, we like Chris Rock. <laughs> Yo, so give it up, bro. Yo, give it up. I should be hosting next year. I'm actually funny, but okay. Yo. <laughs> but oh, um, who's gonna get like a, a lot of protection on the audience? But anyway. <laughs> Oh, um, but it at that Oscars, he says something like even after Jada put out this nice video, kind of putting him over, even though she's like, I'm not going to be there, but I'm so proud of you, Chris. Um, Do your thing. Oh, right. I remember he gets that. on stage and says, Will and Jada, they're not here. <laughs> Jada. Just, not I'm here. sorry, but I laughed. I found that funny. It was it, funny. It, it did hurt her. She wasn't invited. Like we mad because it's true. No, he was not saying that. He was definitely saying that to disparage the fact that she hadn't had an A class movie. Yes, in like but years. it's still funny as hell. I didn't yeah, like funny. That he don't made make it joke. nice. That was a mean <laughs> joke for no reason at a very funny like time. Audience. Nobody. I didn't like the, the audience he told it to. Like you gotta, you so, gotta choose okay, so your joke for your audience. Told a mean joke to somebody who's doing a very serious protest at the event that she's protesting in front of an audience of almost exclusively white people. That is a yeah. not nice thing to do. It's, it's a I not nice like thing that to do. He made the joke so, there to them, but it was funny, low key. No, yeah, definitely, I agree. The I laughed, the shit. I laughed at that joke every time funny. I heard it. Facts, I facts. said that joke every time. The G.I. Jane joke. Out. Here's the thing, though. The G.I. Jane joke had layers, and people didn't it peep the layers. Funny. That's fact. That's fact. It that's wasn't funny. It wasn't. And I Under, think that's why... Over, that's, what's his name was funny. laughing like? Will thought it was... <laughs> Will thought it was funny. <laughs> until, every, until they thought about it. Yeah. And but then they, they realized that funny. it was a deeper joke than even this, the alopecia. But but that's why all of this is like moot. Like it's just side talking. Like if he found it funny, everything that followed after that don't matter because at the end of the day, you found the fucking joke funny. So what are you exactly mm. mad at? You just put on a show because of hyper masculinity. You want to show everybody you can't oh, talk about my wife. Oh, blaming everything though, on hyper masculinity. Myself. Masculinity, yes, yes, the bad honey, thing. Yes, <laughs> honey, get into it. Get into <laughs> it. No. Let's unpack but, the hyper masculinity behind that shit. So she, we're not going to unpack the whole thing the way he feels like a cow. We're not going to unpack his hyper-man. unhealthy hypersexuality in the 90s. No, we're not going to no. unpack <laughs> his wife's <laughs> hypersexuality. We're not going to unpack his, his, his things with her rejecting <laughs> him constantly. We're not going to unpack none of that. We we're just going to be lazy and call it hyper And we're going to lick him. Hear me out. Hear me out. That's exactly what took, took over him, though, because he looked over at her like that's exactly what he thought. Like I'm not gonna fucking, I'm not gonna let these motherfuckers laugh at my wife. You know what I'm saying? That's why he shut it all that that back down. But I have like, to protect my right. wife. Now, now I'm fucking <laughs> I'm masculinity because now he's looking around like, oh shit, it really is a, a bad joke, and now everyone is laughing. You know what I'm saying? And now my my wife feels attacked. Basically, you know what I'm saying? Fuck. I need to do something. And he kind of like, he kind of did kind of think on his toes, but at the same time, like you said, he had to or he got in front of This nigga Will Smith needs a plan, man. Mexican, if that was thinking on your toes. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't, as, as a matter of us, so we, we gotta try to, I get, it's a thing you say, raise hand. When y'all want to talk, put the raise hand options up so people could um, talk. If you see, see a raise hand thing, I right. so so I got a question now. So I got the next question. That? You oh, see that? Go to more. Let's go to more and see raise hand. Actually, where's my oh, okay. no, you Yeah, see, because I don't see raise hand. Hey, oh, um, I don't say raise, raise my hand in real life. There you go. There you go. There you go. All right, but 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 I got. But, but, I, I got, but I got a question. I got I to go to my next question. I got to go to my next question, y'all. Come on, y'all chill. Y'all chill. <laughs> hey, good thing y'all started the topic anyway. Do y'all feel that Will was wrong for defending Jada? And also, if y'all was in that same situation, what would y'all do? 
All right, since my hand is already raised, I think yeah, we're go, 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 Trophy team, yes. Trophy team. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, put, put, the, put the hand down, put the hand down, though. put the hand down. Though. All right. How you put your hand down? Click on again. Click on again, yeah. That's dumb. Right, anyway. I know, I know, I know. Saturday, we got to do the Saturday. Saturday, Saturday. Nah, you straight. Straight. Uh, <laughs> I'm not mad at him for defending <laughs> Hell no, not at all. <laughs> you feel me? I'm upset at the way he the way he defended her could have been done. We all know. We all know. We all saying it right now. It could have been done completely different. Completely yeah, right. different. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? It doesn't matter how he thought she was gonna react, you know what I'm saying? Because we do that as men a lot. We do that, oh, I think she's gonna react a certain way, so I'm gonna not do this action, or I'm gonna do it this certain way, you know what I'm saying? It it don't matter. Because you handled it, you know what I'm saying? You handled it like a man. You didn't have to handle it like that, bro. You didn't have to slap him. You didn't, if you, even if you felt like you was stuck in between, oh, whether it's my wife or my career, like, nah, fuck all that. A rock and a hard place. Literally. Literally. You could have handled it completely different. You could have pulled them backstage. You could have, even if you fucking walked up there and then thought about it and walk and we decided to be like okay i'm gonna hug it out with him real quick and as i'm hugging it out yo i'll talk to you backstage real quick i, I will be in his ear or something like that but anything you know what i'm saying anything anything could have changed the scenario or that and it could have been a better outcome than what we have right now you know what i'm saying and that's just off. all right there you go there you go who who who, who want to go next Matt magna I want to hear Magna. That's what yeah, I want to hear. Me too. Let him Magna. Let him Magna. Y'all aren't ready for this. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was fun. There's just too many damn layers to this. Um, it, is, it, is, it is. Him defending her. <clears throat> Here's the thing, though. I want to make the point that for the people who want to say Chris Rock was wrong, I'm not mad at Chris Rock for anything. Only the fact that he thought that joke was funny. It's just, it just plain wasn't funny. Okay. But he literally got smacked for just doing his job. Will Smith has told some jokes in his day. People have also pulled up clips of when he was on, on Arsenio and he also made a joke about a bald man who also had oh, alopecia, yeah. ironically. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I, rem- I remember that. I remember that. Right. And, and Chris was goes. literally just doing his Pulling job. The dude was free from a teleprompter. <laughs> okay. So here's the thing, like when you when you're sitting in the front, because I had peeped earlier before that happened, I had peeped how Will was sitting in the front row because he was basically like the man of the night. They expected him to win. You're in the front row, you are going to, you know, they're gonna make jokes about you. You're gonna get roasted. You're going to get roasted. Okay. But you should have made the joke about Will instead of Jay. It's just better etiquette. You can't be talking about somebody white right next to them. I but remember, I remember I the joke he made right before he brought Jada. He was talking about Penelope Cruz yeah, and Javier yeah. Bardem about how oh, when he goes home, if if he wins, then he's gonna have to and hear it from her. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. was that was a decent joke about a married couple, okay? But then for some reason, you single Jada out, and then exactly. and, and here's the, here's also the thing too, like people talking about how the joke was mean and this and that, but people are forgetting the fact that there wasn't an ad. Actual G.I. Jane movie. Demi Moore played G.I. Jane. She shaved her head. So was she supposed to feel bad about her shaved head when she played G.I. Jane? G.I. Jane. Like, and that's another thing too. He he said G.I. J, not G.I. Joe. Like you literally make it sound like he just called your wife a man. He said no. G.I. Jane. No, 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 no. That's, that's speculation, my love. That's speculation. What are you talking about speculation? What are you talking about speculation? No, what he, you didn't, talking about? he didn't. He didn't aim to make her feel like a man. He aimed to make her feel like a bald woman who cheated. Okay, that's, that's the two woman. things he did in that little joke. <laughs> yeah, 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 Which that's is that's what a woman, did. That's, but not that's a what man. Jada did. Not yeah. You're making a joke no, about being bald. Jane was a movie headed. about a bald woman who, who the actual character that bald woman cheated. He did a double layer joke. He did what I, he did like, like when Jay Z fucking does an entendre. Or when Drake, Drake had this one song where he he completely tore apart Diddy without ever saying Diddy's name. 
Zero and two hundred. Yep. <clears throat> right. Yep. I didn't even know that one. I was thinking about 4 p.m. in Calabasas. Nah, it was over 200. I definitely remember that, yeah. Because he also did Joe Budden in that one, but all of it without... You know, that song flew so far under the radar that the only person that got mad at that song was fucking Joe Budden. But it took... <laughs> the only person. So with that one joke, Chris Rock did that, and the only person that got upset was Jada. Yeah. Will didn't get upset. Jada got upset. He peeped, and then he understood. Yeah, because yeah, because the meme cheated <clears> on <throat> you cheated on um with 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 Ashley Kutcher. With right. Jada, and Jada cheated on Will with August or separate. She did whatever. not cheat though. Oh, 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 separate, separate. Separate. My bad, my, my bad. Separated, separated. My bad. Will Smith Sorry, also entangled. Has his own entangled. She entangled. Oh, Nobody uh, want to talk August. about that. Oh, my, that my, bad. my bad. It was mutual. My bad. It was mutual. My, my she man, was it's, it's out here wilding, and he was letting it happen. But mentally, he knows Bye. that everyone in the world knows or thinks that she cheated. So with the with the point of the joke being that yeah, Jane is the chick that shaved head, went to the military or whatever, like whatever the case may be, and cheated. <laughs> that she got upset. <laughs> knows that that that's what he means at about the joke with the joke that that's what he's aiming at. So she understood the joke and she got tight at the joke. And one, like you said, like he's reading from a teleprompter. So we don't even know if he's the one that wrote the joke. You know? Wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I got the answer for that. I got the answer for that. Hold on. Ken got the answer. He went all right for Chris Rock, though. I assume he wrote that. Um, I heard that Cavity wrote that joke. I heard that Jada joke was, was him. What? Yeah. That's and exactly Jada what was, happened. Yeah, Jay like, was that's, yep, that's exactly what happened, because he writes, he has to write what he write, so they yeah, approve yeah. it. Yeah. What he said was one of those little off-the-cuff zinger lines. Okay. And, but, but, but I got more added. I heard <clears throat> Will heard about the joke, and Will told Chris to stop, don't do the joke, but Chris did it anyway. I think that's probably another reason why he probably went up there, too. I Who didn't hear that, but so that's a great reason. I, I, I heard... I heard that from some article. Yeah. Yeah. Who heard the joke? <laughs> I can't. I, I didn't sources. hear who he said. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Cam, who said that? He, he said that he told Chris Rock not to say the joke. Yo, I'm heard. missing it. Who told Chris Rock? He said Will, Will, Will Smith, Smith heard the joke. Oh, Will Smith heard it. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Before, 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 before the Oscars. Oh, so then that that's 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 where his reaction came from. I get it yeah. a little bit better. I get a little bit. Yeah, that, that that's still that. that part. I heard that. I heard that, but I also heard that was speculation. Mm. But no, but but again, he laughed <laughs> at the joke. So if you told him not to do the joke, and yeah, you still found it funny. Like, how are we not confused? I, I would think, but I mean, I mean, here's the thing: people could laugh like, at a joke. They, they, people laugh at the joke. You could laugh fake, like, <laughs> they didn't really realize. Like, like, but you said, told him, you like, told you know, him not to do the joke for a reason. Like, 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 you know how many times I've gotten my ass cut about my nose? It's it's a big nose. I get it, right? But if the joke is funny, I laugh, even though it's a terrible joke against me. Sure. I make jokes I about myself. No, I make jokes about They're myself. They're hilarious. I got this I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to hold you. I, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a I got a, in high school, somebody <laughs> joked about my mother, I smacked them. So, so you're definitely you're definitely Team Will, huh? No, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. But, but you did it. I mean, I, I, I was that younger me. Younger me did it. <laughs> but okay, you probably so, didn't do so, it in public, so, I'm sure. You didn't do it on I, TV. I didn't. No, I, I mean, didn't, I did it at school. <laughs> I mean, does right? So does, so does, okay. Does does the gentleman Ken? <laughs> Does the gentleman Ken, given the same type of joke, given the same target of the same type of joke, so somebody cutting ass on your mama 
on a stage like that, do you slap them or do you not? For me, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> so um, the, the acceptance speech, please, please get on that because. Oh, yeah. Can you dissect that for us? What the hell was that? What the hell was that, William? The floor is yours. That's like that far. Take it. No, 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 Magna. I remember parts of the speech, but I was, I, I my brain okay. kind of turned okay. it off because I felt like he was being like, I felt Not like he specific. had too much going on in that actor. Exactly. Yeah, with too much going right. on. Bullet points and bullet points. He blames art imitating life that was bullshit so he basically put this on the movie as if he is the williams father with richard williams is his name right richard williams would defend his family bullshit oh you do crazy things for love bullshit the devil will come in your ear bullshit (laughs) william it was you and your two hands your two feet walked up to the damn stage who carried you he blamed everybody but himself. Don't put this on your love of Jada because the word is you sick of her. OK, according to y'all, don't put this. Listen, the devil, he will come near everywhere, every moment. OK, but I doubt he was sitting there in a suit and tie whispering. Here. You know, let me not even say that. Let me not yo, talk about yo, man, the, the, man. the point is, the point is, <laughs> don't blame. Don't just blame the devil for what you do, because then we can literally just sit here and blame the devil for every little thing that we do okay we don't do, do that not already the movie you're not richard williams okay the movie filming is over with you are at the oscars you're getting a war for the oscars and you decide to take your bitch ass up onto the stage to to emasculate a man who's literally just doing his job over a corny ass joke to prove a point man, that man had just emasculated his <laughs> wife and you know how his wife think about her masculinity. It was this I said what I said. That speech was whack as hell. And it was hard for anyone to really grasp what was happening because he literally just became the fifth black actor in 94 years to win Best Actor. And he tarnished the moment with that foolery earlier. But at the same time, you're at the Oscars and everybody's trying to keep a face. Like, remember when uh, the, the Grammys, when Whitney died? People knew that the woman died, but yet people are still going about acting like nothing happened because that's what they do. It's the pomp and circumstance. People act like shit like that didn't just happen. And they're like putting on a face. Like even when Jada heard the joke and she was offended, what did she do? She rolled her eyes, but she was like, like you gotta put on a face all the damn time. Yo. Okay. You don't know how to handle the situation because you're like, what just she happened? She was. She, she, she did. Oh, she, she was dying laughing with you. She did crazy. hold the face. She did hold the face. Oh my, my head, no, yo, she, my head. Uh, yo, right, right nah, in there. Right, 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 Got me foaming at the mouth. Go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) So he he took the joke as they took the joke to the fans. He went up there to defend her. He was protecting his wife. That's how I feel. And it's like the acceptance speech was basically trying to say, like, yo, I'm sorry for what I did, but no. Everyone but Chris. Everybody but Chris. At least he wasn't being fake. I'm not going. <laughs> I'm sorry for what I just five. I, I meant that shit five minutes ago. And thank give, you for, give him that. Thank you for still giving me this Oscar. No, you could have revoked it right then and there, but still, no. Yeah, that's basically what the acceptance speech did. I, Molly, right. you put, Molly, you put your hand, put your hand there, Molly. Can you talk a lot? You my mean, hand is no, up. No, no, fuck my hand, hand is up. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Oh, you telling me to talk. Okay. You gotta say it's good turn. No, nigga, no, nigga. How you get a black hand? I'm not letting you go any further unless you tell me how you get a black hand. I got a yellow ass hand. I'm not even going to fucking do it. It can work like the iPhone. I dead can't remember doing this. I have an iPhone. Oh, that's my son. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Oh, like, it, it, when you click on the reactions, like it gives you the option for a skin tone. 
It's just at the bottom, you know. Black is power, you know. Let them let them see my colors. Boom. Black excellence, yeah. Black excellence, yeah. Black excellence. I might have talked, y'all. But I wanted to I wanted to piggyback on a couple of these points here. Mm -hmm. Like, I need us to I need us to give as much space to mentally to the to the mental and emotional mind states and the things that can create those mental and emotional mind states in men as we do to women period because that is not what will is getting here right it's oh. either oh my god thank you for defending us or oh my god you made us look so bad you set us back as a people like we're all a monolith that can't be offended by separate different things right one that's one thing but two things like will smith as we've been looking at as we've been seeing as we've been going through it that man has a lot to fucking deal with i guess he put his mental health to the side honestly to be in love with jada for a while my man uh, honestly to be in, to he put his mental state to the side to be the successful person he is to be the family man that he is and it's all just kind of coming in at him at the same time and then you got all the stuff that came out over the last couple of years um like i need us to be okay with understanding i'm not saying i'm not saying uh uh what's the word excusing the action right but i need us to understand the things that bring us to these things right this is how you keep the action from happening rather than trying to box people by Oh, you did this. So, oh, you obviously wasn't a good person for the last 35 years, even though we have proof of it. That's what we all do to each other all the time. That's facts, though. Right? I need us to, to be able to look at this. Okay, what happened here? Yeah, you still going to get some punishment, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But what happened here? So that maybe we can, maybe it's a teachable moment. Maybe it's a moment we learn from. Because the fact that everybody is so divided, especially our people, and this is the people who apparently, you know, is the most affected by this. Um, the, the fact that there's division and who's right and who's wrong means that we're not learning this from this. We're just taking it as an event to like really feast on, you know, like right. it's filling up that spot that Bori left in our hearts. Right. You know, okay. You know, to your point, Mal, like that leads to a whole new segue into um, that leads into a segue to a new topic in this discussion about respectability politics. Like, because again, that's another layer to this conversation because I'm gonna get on the white people too because they're doing too much. But um, I'm gonna save oh that. My God, yes. for, oh, whenever oh, you're ready to that. talk about that, oh, I'm gonna get on their asses. I'm actually gonna get to that. I'm actually gonna we'll get to that. That's, that's okay, okay, <laughs> before you get into that, the respectability politics, everybody know what respectability politics is, right? Because I feel like that's kind of a new thing that we kind of like starting to um, get in. No? You don't uh, mind. Explain it, explain it yourself, girl. Take the floor. Respectability now. politics, okay? It is a set of rules that Black people and only Black people have to adhere to to make white people comfortable. Respectability, watching the way you walk, watching the way you talk, the way your hair is dressed. Like you have a clown like Stephen A. Martin, who is always quick to goon, okay, who made that comment about uh, Trayvon Martin and wearing a hoodie, like, oh, you shouldn't be walking around in hoodies because you're going to look like a thugger. I can wear whatever the fuck I want because every white boy from Justin Bieber to whoever in LA is wearing hoodies. So why can't black people? Why do black people have to straighten their hair to make themselves uh, more palatable to white people? Why do we always have to code switch and talk a certain way? Nigga, if this is the way I fucking talk, this is how I'm going to talk to you. I mean, this is how I really talk. But <laughs> if I want to talk like like that I can't. Respectability politics is subscribing to a, a code of conduct that Black people have to follow so that they don't 
think that we're all the same, that we're all like gangsters, that we're all thugs, that we're all ghetto. Like, I shouldn't have to do that. You're allowed to talk and, and look the way that you want, and I'm going to talk the way that I want. So when you're saying how, you know, it shows how not all Black people are the same, not all Black people think the same. Like, Will Smith, he came off respectable. He was palatable with white people. White people loved him, okay? But then... Once white people saw him do something that they associate other black people like 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 Will Smith is one of those you're not like the others type of uh, black people to white people. OK, but as soon as they saw him do something violent, he suddenly got reduced to digger. That's what that's how they're looking at him now. And that's why they're coming for his ass. OK, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. thank you. In, in, in short. In short, because you know I could go on with this, but like oh. I'm not, I'm not with the fucking bullshit. Like it's not fair that we always have to like when when you're at the Oscars, you gotta be hey, because that is what other black people are saying too. Because black people in the sunken place, they don't understand that you're still performing for white people, even though regardless of how you act, how you talk, how educated you are, they still see you as a nigga. Because look what you're doing to Will. People are saying Bloody. extra shit like. He should be banned for life. He should he should be fired. He should be dropped. His career's over. Like, chill. You're doing too much because y'all have been subscribing to Harvey Weinstein for the longest. Y'all literally just gave an uh, Oscar to a pedophile uh, who can't uh, even accept the word in person because he's not allowed in this country. What foolery is, is that? Yo, um, I question with I, that. I question. Go I, ahead. I, I, for my I, vein pops up. <laughs> I mean, it's funny, it's funny, it's funny cause you already you already started the conversation. So as you know, they stopped some of real movies on hold. And also about the as of today, Will has been from the Ox for 10 years. So my question to y'all, including myself, how do y'all feel about that? I didn't imagine we answer, answer this question already, but I'm else? not mad at the part about him being banned for 10 years. I don't think you should be allowed because they don't bring you there so you can go smack people. Mm. I'm not mad at that. 10 years is not that long. 10 years is like 20, 2012 from now. Like that was just the other day. So I'm not first mad at all, that part. First of all, I was young and handsome. Too. Well, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> that was a long time ago. <laughs> it was. That was like yesterday. What do you mean? <laughs> Go ahead. I, um, um, how how do I feel? I mean, I guess it's the right call, but I feel like they are doing it a bit too much. It shouldn't be like that. I I know a lot of people who've done a lot worse, and they are doing extremely fine. I feel like they're doing a lot more things because he's a black man. I believe that. I, feel, I believe yeah. that. Why they're, they're, taking it, they're taking it a lot more seriously, a black man. I feel like it was a yeah. white person who did the same exact thing when they slap over another white man. They would think of it as a whole joke. They would not think of it as a, how they how they're taking it for where right now. Yeah. Yeah. If Beyonce did something like that, they definitely drop Beyonce too. Because yeah. white people do like Beyonce. But yeah. but that's because Beyonce is always behaving. She don't be doing stuff. Yeah. But the well, remember, they was real mad at her. Jay-Z. Uh. Remember how mad at her they was for formation just oh, because yeah, she yeah. showed a cop yeah. car in the water. Yeah. There was no exactly. real anti-police sentiment. Exactly. It was just a cop car in the water. And they, ooh, exactly. white people. <laughs> the only people I've ever seen take down the beehive, white people. So, <laughs> so in 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 me speaking about respectability, I have said, you know, you always gotta like, you you always have to be afraid of how you naturally act or the things that you like because white people gonna judge you, even though they're gonna judge you regardless. I was on YouTube and I'm scrolling through some comments. And what I can assume as a white person, I saw some racist ass comments where one of them was like, I can't even remember exactly, but one of them was like being corny saying, oh, well, what would you like on the side of, of your Oscar? Like you, you want that deep fried or, or you want like gangster? I'm like, first of all, you're corny. Okay. Number two, that joke that you're making is racist as hell. Okay. And then another person Proving what we all knew said, oh, is the Oscars black inclusive enough? 
That right there, that right there is exactly how I knew you white people were thinking that if we add a little more inclusivity to the Oscars and you see a little bit more black people and black culture involved, suddenly it's too black for you. And this is exactly what you were all afraid of, that we're going to bring violence and nigga shit into the Oscars. Just admit it. You didn't like the gospel choir. You didn't like seeing Diddy there. You didn't like seeing any other rapper. Like, just just say that what you want is to make the Oscars white again. Oh, and I knew forget, it. And you know that's how y'all felt. And don't forget, Will Packer was the producer of the Oscars this year, who was a black man. Wow. It was the black, black, black director. In. No, no, black the documentary, oh, documentary one. one. Really? Yeah, Music, yeah. I mean... What am I saying, musical child? He, he, he was like one of the producers. Yeah. One of the producers. <laughs> he was no. the show producer, yeah. No, yeah. What's his name? Will I don't Packer. know why. Will no, Packer? no, for the no. Doc she's saying movie. another person won. Summer of Soul, Questlove, Questlove, Questlove. Oh, Questlove. Questlove. Yes. Questlove. Yeah, that was Questlove. that was the award that Chris Rock was presenting to Questlove. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So his oh. moment got ruined because oh, of what yeah, just happened. Yeah. It was right, right. It was right, really was. What? Yeah, and then I also saw another comment someone made where they were like, um, this just proves that Black people condone violence. Where the fuck are you getting that from? One Black person smacks another and all of a sudden we're all here for it? Who said that? Who said that? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Plus, my hand been off. White people don't have no room. No room. And I will say this to any white person's no, face. Man. So if you're a white member of the Premier Fam, Better take this or just watch something else. Don't I'm watch something else. We need the ratings. We need the views. We need the views. We need the views. White people can never tell me anything about the con the condemnation of violence. White people have been the single most violent force on the planet since yep. the inception of white, black, and other colors of people. That's All right. right. We we right. not. I, I can never take a white person seriously when they say that because they'll say that and then flip their town over because they shitty hockey team lost. <laughs> Not even the good hockey team, the bad one, the one that always loses lost. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a fact. So. Yo, Trophy, Trophy, you got anything to add on this, this um, topic? <clears throat> Yo, like, like, Part of me is like, damn, well, like, what the fuck is you doing, dog? And then, uh, like, the other part of me is just angry because it's like, like you said, Magma, like, fucking, they feel like they sprinkle a little bit of black in there and it's like, it's tainted now, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, like, it's fucked up. It's fucked up to, to feel like you can never have nothing without you know, being judged for having it or being judged or thought, okay, you're black, you're here, something bad's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? That's fucked up to feel yeah. like that. Walk around like, yeah. that's some bullshit. Um, as far as, you know, kicking them out for, you know, 10 years or whatever, the fuck do you expect, bro? Like, you know, like at the end of the day, it's like, you know where you're at, you know, you, you of all people know exactly what's going on because it's you that's going through it. So you know better than all of us that you're being judged because you are who you are. You are Will, you're basically America's sweetheart. You know what I'm saying? That, this is who you are growing up. You were America's sweetheart growing up. You, you, everybody loves you and they still do. And you're the like, you're fucking, you're the new Denzel. You know what I'm saying? Like you're literally right there. So you have all these things that's going around that you have at risk. And this is the action that you decide to go down the path of choosing. So this is the repercussion for it. So it's like, all right, fuck it. 10 years of suspension, it is what it is. You know, you can't be, like she said, it's not that long if you really think about it. You know what I'm saying? So. And I will tell you again, I was handsome 10 years ago. All right. <laughs> Oh, I was skinny. <laughs> I was I was skinny I was skinny yeah, with no hair in my face. Take no hair. So. <laughs> I didn't have these boobs though. But anyways. <laughs> well, um, I, you see, right, ten right, years. Right. That's an evolution. Oh yeah. Right. That's right, 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 right,
belong. You right, belong. Right, right, right. He's next, and then we got one more question to end the show. Right. I didn't get to tell. I didn't get to tell how I felt about how how his actions. What did I say? What did I say? You really did, Valley. Really you did, though. I did not. Uh, I, did uh, did not. Uh, I, ent- I said something about what she said, but continue. I, 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 so you know what? You know what? Um, Roddy, Molly, I got one more question. All right. Um. Like, so they they had to give him some type of discipline, some type of punishment. So like the ten years. I mean. Yeah, 10 years is all right because, you know, it's going to fly. It's going to fly by. And how much how much times are they actually going to get nominated within those 10 years? Like, he hasn't right. won the Oscar, you know, his first Oscar. Right. So because he's a black man, they just want to cancel him and they want to make a big example by him because, you know, it's violence, you know, they got slapped. So now I just see, like, going <laughs> further in the future, that the white people going to try to do more to keep us locked out the Oscars, yeah, because of what happened. So this is going to be the this is going to be the aftermath of what happened. It's going to be the repercussion, um, because they're like, yo, we don't want this to happen again. So now, maybe for another few years, even if we get nominated, we automatically going to be disbarred from getting getting the Oscar, no matter if the performance of the black person was good or not and it's gonna be you know unfair because like you know we you know we've been coming up lately we have a lot of good movies in the past couple of years and we've been snubbed so like they just they just playing the race card because he's black and because of what happened you know at the same time it's like don't cancel will like will Will's good. Will's great, man. Like, yeah, he's at a point in his career that he got money and stuff. So, like, them them pulling a couple of productions, you no, know, it ain't gonna really hurt him in the long run because he'll be back up. They say they think they're saying, "Oh, cancel him," like, and his career. You can't end Will's career, man. He's too great. That's all I gotta say. All right, Molly, say what you gotta say, son. All right. So this is how I think about the actual punishment. Um, so I did the research on the punishment. He's not even, uh, like, he can still get nominated to win Oscars in the 10 years. Um, so that means it's kind of arbitrary. I guess he sums, if he wins another one, he sends somebody there. But he's not disqualified from being able to win another Oscar. He um, just can't the be there. He just can't pull up. He can't pull up to the um, Oscars and he can't pull up to the Academy Awards event. So no parties for 10 years. Right? Doesn't sound like a crazy punishment when you're 53 and you've been to a bunch of these. Right. He's probably he he's probably looking forward to the not having to go. Honestly, it's like being suspended from school when you don't like school like that. <laughs> that's, 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 a, that's, that's a fact. That's a fact. So, so wait, real quick, isn't it funny how white people are always like, oh, not all white people are racist, but one black person slaps another and suddenly all black people are violent. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Y'all yeah. don't like being painted with the same brush, but y'all love to do it to us. We all always, always do it. Bigger deal too. Anyways, you were thinking. All right, so my last question, because we're about to end the show. And the show been too long, it's been a funny show. So my last question, I think Roddy Ray answered have it. I'm pretty sure Roddy Ray answered his question already. So do y'all do y'all wanna do y'all personally do y'all wanna cancel Will? Hell no. No, I'm straight. My bad. I was, of course I was not. <laughs> so everybody say no? Hell He's no. He's on probation with me. <laughs> Yeah, word, word. I like that. I like I like Because you slapped another black man. We didn't even talk about that. We didn't talk about how you would have reacted differently if it was someone else, if it was Ricky Gervais or some other white person. No, you would not have slapped a white person. Uh, uh, Why would uh, you uh, slap your brother? That. We are assuming that. And I don't like that. He I don't not. like that. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry. Yes, but, yes but he would have because it different. wasn't about black, black or white. It was about who cut who cut. Who cut ass on his wife? No, but black men, they are different with white men, okay? (laughs) They do. You know the repercussions of slapping a white person. Jim Carrey said, I would have sued you the next day. There isn't a white person disagreeing with Jim Carrey. Uh, And I'm mad at Jim Carrey for that. 
I mean, I Will Smith got enough money. money to handle a suit. He is fine. Wait. It's not about I the got... money. It's the fact that, like he said, people are watching that over and over and they will continue. It's embarrassing. And it is a traumatic moment for Chris and only Chris. So for yeah. someone like Amy Schumer talking about, I was traumatized. I was clutching my purse. Bitch, nothing oh. happened to you. Nothing happened to you. Stop being white. OK, Chris is the only one who should feel traumatized. We've seen everybody hates Chris. We see the way he's gotten bullied. Chris has said that that triggered bullying for him back in the day, that he learned that he can't be reactive to people like that because he will seriously hurt them. OK, and also Chris had his hands behind his back. That's like that's like knocking somebody in the head when they back is turned. Like he, he didn't even put up a defense, man. That was so whack. That's oh, that, that, they do that in the street all the time. They call exactly. that um, sneaking a nigga. Yeah. And those well, are bitch ass niggas. But okay. But I feel yo, like yo, that, but. But yo, but, um, to, answer the, to answer the question, I, no, I want to cancel Will. But and to ask the Magna question, I'm pretty sure if Will, is, as a black person, wasn't going through the second white person, I'm pretty sure it would be, it would be wor- uh, way worse. Worse. Way worse. Way worse within the. Uh, Will would completely be canceled. If that would have happened. Trust me. He would. Oh no, they would have been reporting that shit. They would have been like, "Oh my yeah. God, you don't expect things to happen to people like that." He's, exactly. he's so <laughs> European, you know. This is not a third world actor. This is <laughs> this is a European actor. <laughs> I'm dead. But let's not act like it's not going to be the other way around. If a white person has slapped Chris Rock, then what's his name? The the new Al Sharpton? What's Ben Ben Crumpet? Crump, Crumpet? T and Crumpet? What's his name? I don't know. The, the lawyer that's always... I don't like the old Al Sharpton. I don't know the new <laughs> one. <laughs> but, but I'm pretty ben sure... Crump- or something like that. He would have came in and then he would have been like, this white actor slapped this black man. <laughs> Listen. I don't know how that will be. I don't know. I can't even answer that. I don't even know how that will be. That's old. My boy Dr. Funny. Umar would have been on it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but, but still, but, he wouldn't have slapped a white person, though. Real talk. Like, but, you know oh, what they do. But also I'm, not, her, I'm not jacking that. Because... Uh, no, because see, you go, go, you like, yeah. That is assuming, but like for me, like I would be even more upset because you, somebody that's now you of not of my race, and now you talking about my wife. So I, for me, I'd be in more. I'd I'd beat the fuck out of you, like me, with my anger. But that's if it was on the streets. Now, like you said, there's a time and place for everything. There's a setting for. In that setting, no, I wouldn't have slapped that black man or nor would I have slapped that white man. But if we were in the, I would be more enraged at the white man speaking on my wife than the black man. I would, of course, I would be a pissed at both his scenarios, but it would just be, it, it'll just like, you feel that level of disrespect, that level of like, like, I, it's just, ugh. Like I'm feeling it now. Like it's just hard to explain. Like I, just, I, get, I, it, so I get it. I get it, bro. I get it, yo. I it, get it. It, you just want to beat the shit out of somebody even more because they're not of the race and they're talking about your wife. It's just not feeling. So I wouldn't say he if there was a white man up there he wouldn't slap him. I would say that if there was a white man up there he would not have slapped him. He probably would have handled. He probably would have handled it differently. Yeah, exactly. He probably wouldn't have let it slide, but who's to say? Because we we all not Will Smith mentally, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. So we don't know. Like I said, like you said, we don't know where he's at mentally. Exactly. I wonder if we I, could ask him. Yo, if, if if it was Ricky Gervais, would you have slapped him? What about The Rock? What about people the rock? say, oh, he was I not giving The Rock no. Come on, come on, come on, y'all should know better. He's not gonna do that to The Rock. Come on. He's not. I still come think on. he would have slapped come The on, Rock man. and got folded. I feel like he would have done it and just got cooked because I don't because if if you if you walk up on stage on national television and assault a person while being black, <laughs> you understand the uh-huh. negative ramifications already and you don't care about nothing. He was going to walk up there, slap whoever and get washed if it was the rock. That's it. 
Oh. But I don't think Dwayne would have reacted either. Oh. Dwayne is also a professional. Yeah, he would. He would. Yeah, he would react. You know, he would. He would. He, he would have folded him up backstage. Because he knows he could beat the crap out of him, so he, he don't even yeah, have to react. Yeah. Exactly. He That'd be play, like yeah. if I slapped the Rock. Like he ain't gonna hit me back. He know he, he could watch laugh. me. Yeah, he, 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 probably, he probably gonna laugh. He probably gonna laugh. Like, come on, come on. He probably gonna hear a pro wrestler, former pro, pro wrestler yeah. actor. Like, he'd be funny if the Rock sold it. Like if the rock sold the shit. <laughs> he would have sold it, y'all. But, but, yeah. but yeah, y'all, that's a premiere of podcast, y'all. Yo, this was a fun show. You know, thank you, Magna and Trophy T for coming on the show. Yeah, do, do y'all think y'all two y'all, y'all two y'all y'all, y'all to get y'all do y'all think drop your stuff? Anything I want to say last remark, y'all two. Y'all, y'all do y'all think. Also, before y'all start. I want to bring both of y'all back to the season finale of the Premier Web Podcast next week. The season two finale. I want to bring y'all both back. And y'all can come back. Let's, let's do it. It's going to be a party. Yeah, man. Back on fire. Last remark for y'all too, y'all. Last remark for y'all. Two VT and Magnum. I said, my, uh, my stoners, my stoners lounge collection, my clothing wear just dropped. Uh, Go check it out on H-E- I'm sorry, damn, I'm smack. I'm spelling my own brand wrong. It's H-I-L-Y. Put your background back up. It, but, yeah, let me back, yeah. Yeah, let me put my back. Oh, Hold on, let me put my background. What it, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, you know what I'm saying? Let me, wow, there it is. There it is. <laughs> so, let me fade real quick. Can y'all see it? Let me see, bro. Let me see it. That ain't my hand, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can do this. <laughs> oh, God. Man, you, know, you got anything you want to say, sweetheart? <laughs> me? You know, I just, I stayed. Dropping facts on my Instagram page, you know, Mademoiselle underscore M. Always follow me because I be spilling the tea and the facts about she work, does. life, does. love, and just keeping it real. You need to go on Twitter. You need to go on Twitter. Yo, no, aren't, aren't I hilarious, son? Like, I could dead ass host the Oscars. Not like, no she, cap. She, yeah, just, yeah, no, just don't I, get, I, just don't get I, 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 I'll, do it, I'll do it for that podcast show for you, um, Magna. I'll do it for that podcast show for you, so I can produce it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did you believe I'm shy? Nah, you ain't shy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I no. Me. I refuse to I believe it. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh my god. All right, would you believe I just don't want to get slapped? <laughs> yes. I believe that. That I believe 100%. There we go, right there. there we go. You are a smart woman, not a scary one. Oh <laughs> my god, but I'm a smart ass one. <laughs> so someone's going to pop she me. With a, she probably would have so well walking up to there like, Bob, nope. We I have people nope. right now that want to pop me. <laughs> All right, y'all. So y'all already know this is your boy Ken, aka Mr. Gentleman. Mr. Gentleman, like that pocket each and every Sunday at 12 a.m. We on Anchor, Apple Podcast, Spotify. We are back on Spotify. Um, <laughs> good, good pause and many more. Thanks, that's a lot. Uh, <laughs> follow me on IG, Ken underscore Mr. Gentleman. Yeah, we got a lot of spin on show. The old show, myself with the Star Riding Ride, conversation with my music. Day night talk myself with Ben B. The merch store and T Politics out now. Support your boy. Do what y'all got to do next, y'all. All right, hey. this is your boy, uh, this is your boy oh. the Star Roddy Rob. Um, yeah, check me out here. Find my IG, the Star Roddy Rob. I ain't gonna tell you how to spell the Star Roddy Rob is R O D D Y O D. Um, check me out here every Wednesday at twelve. Check me out on the Olsen Show. We can miss the gentleman on every fourth or fifth Sunday. Right now, I'm on the podcast tour, so look out for, for updates on my page. And coming soon, um, conversation with Star. There we go. Long live the chief. 
Say it one more time. One more time. One more time. <laughs> Long little cheese. Long little cheese. Long little cheese. Got the right picture too. There we go. <laughs> Long live the chief. They call me Mally Mal out here. Um, I'm on everything as they call me Mally Mal. You can uh, you can spell they. You can spell call. You can you can spell me. But Mally Mal is M A L I M A L. Long live the chief. Now. Listen, we already know that we got the music coming out. So we're looking for Mansa coming out. We're looking for the game tapes. We already know that we got the podcast coming out soon, right? Also, follow me on TikTok because that's about to get popping now that I found this microphone. This is fun. Oh, shit. And the last thing I want to do, all right? Little final thought before we jump out of here. I call it, I'm going to call it Mally's Pipe Ball, right? Let's see if I can cross my legs. No, I can't. I'm too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Listen. Black, white, man, woman. Uh, big, small, grown, young. There's always a level of respect to be had. At any given time, at any given level, that respect is to keep us from causing violence against each other. So your sense of respect for one another will keep us in this society going the way it needs to be going, right? So I guess in just a way that I'm saying, listen, everybody, keep your hands to yourself, talk things out. If it doesn't require violence, don't up it to violence because any amount of violence can be deadly. Imagine getting taken off this earth because somebody scuffed your puma. And yes, that was a Chris Rock joke. Take care of yourselves. We out. Right, there you go. There you go. And um, also follow King Talk Sands, the other member of the Premier Podcast. He's not here. Follow him on IG, Aaron Sands Premier. And check out his show, King Talk with Aaron Sands, season one and two, right now. Oh, no. Trophy yeah. T, thank you for coming back to the, coming back on the show. But check out his brand, Highlight Shades, everything he got going on. Follow him on social media. Drop the social media real quick. It's actually high five. Now. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, oh, you changed the name. Oh, okay. High life three sixty five. Yes, sir. Uh, okay, high life three sixty five. Okay, bro. Yes, okay, sir. Bro. Check out on all social medias. H I L. I'm sorry, Dan. I keep saying H I. That's how, that's how you regularly spell hot. I spell hot. H I L Y F E three six five. Uh, on Instagram is H I L Y F E underscore three six five. Or you can hit my personal, which is trophy T underscore three six five. I am real. I will hit you back. I am that nigga. I am the biggest nigga you ever want to see. I'm the biggest weed smoker under Wiz Khalifa and Snoop Dogg. If so, holla at me. Out here, you know what I'm saying? I'd be like, nigga, big dog out here, cuz you check. All right, there you go. And song of the day. Originally, it was supposed to be Sands. I won't go to Elizabeth Alvin. I mean, I mean, Roddy. But since we got two guests here, what do y'all want to hear? A song, a song, any song. Any song y'all want to hear? Yeah, Iced Out Necklace by Wiz Khalifa. Okay. All right, there you go. We're going to end with that. We're going to end with that. I'm going to say. There you go. It's your boy, Ken. I came with the gentleman. It's your boy, the star, Roddy Ra. Long live the chief. They call me Mally Mal. <laughs> this is Mademoiselle M, aka Magna. Your boy Trophy T, Yazerski. Take it over, y'all. Choo! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
shit Except the robbery, nigga, he gon' do six Come through, bitch, styled up with new kicks Penny flow, ho, and I come with two chicks Cause me and my team is the best in the world Me and my team is the best in the world Said me and my team is the best in the world Best in the world, best, best in the world Got a star on the sky, gentlemen on the cup And I know my team burns, we got sand in the cut Ow